Hi, chat. How you doing today? <laughs> I was busy cramming the last bits of, of dinner in my face, so I actually added an extra song to the playlist. Uh, hello, Koyos. Guinea. Greeny. World record for how fat chat agreed to the date. Yeah. Um, Kizuna. Zilo. P. Yeah, I can't believe it. Twitch is back after three days. Three whole days. Without Twitch. Unbelievable. Today, we are starting a new game. We are going on a date. Let me turn that up a little. Your two for one deal. Your wife can come along, Zelo. I think she'll have fun at the amusement park too. Which cutie are we going for? Not the fortune teller? Uh, so Sweet Fuse is a, primarily a visual novel. Um, more, more visual novel than dating sim. So there's no actual sim part, unlike Tokimeki Memorial. The thing is, Sweet Fuse is one of those games where to get the complete story, you have to date everyone. Everyone. We're going through this game multiple times, guys. You can choose which in order we do it through. Do we have to? Can we auto skip the fortune teller? We're going to be a shimbo, a wimbo. Glasses boy on the left is an option. Uh, the other thing is that. So you might notice down there, here we are, down here is concept. You might recognize concepts from such hits as Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> That's because Keiji Inafune is referenced in this game. He, concept was actually a co-developer with Idea Factory on this game. And we're playing as Keiji Inafune's niece. We are playing as the niece of the guy who who worked on Mega Man, but more importantly, worked on Mighty Number no. Nine. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> Mighty Number no. Nine is not referenced in this game. This game came out way before Mighty Number no. Nine did. <laughs> they just already sour. You want a refund? Unfortunately, I am paying for it. 
is his niece of age? You know? I think his niece is a high school girl. Right there. Inafune. It's already right here. We can change the name. <laughs> Greenie's autocorrect. I see we already have a suggestion in chat. Asafune? We can totally do that. This is a fictional niece? As far as I know, yes, this is a, a fictional niece. Unfortunately, Asafune is just a little too long. Asafune is good too. You're watching this on two different computers, Pete. That's a little much, isn't it? Hi, Robbie. <laughs> You can see exactly what's been going on to the right of the screen. <laughs> That's why I chatted on screen. Hasselblad, <laughs> okay. You're still stress testing the second computer. Yeah, but you know, if it blue screens, it's not Hasselblad's fault, okay? After all, <sighs> shut up, alarm. Much better. Well, Uncle, I hope you're ready. My uncle is the creator of a new theme park called the Gamatorium. He'd invited me to the pre opening event, but I've been so excited and restless, I barely slept. All right, Kanadabu. Let's hope it goes well. I don't know if SGDQ will still actually be going on. I kind of doubt things are going to be okay in August. <laughs> if this theme park doesn't end up, it'll bleed us. This little guy is called Kane Abu, and he is the Gamatorium's mascot. My uncle gave him to me a while back. He's super adorable, but more importantly, he looks like a rice ball, and rice balls are delicious. <laughs> He's now your <laughs> Our protagonist has the right priorities. This pig looks like a rice ball. Rice balls are delicious, therefore this pig is good. Anyway, I got out of bed as fast as I could. I had big plans for my day at the park. I wish I could bring some of my friends, but the invite said it was just for staff and their relatives. Oh well, I'm sure I can have lots of fun all by myself. Alright, time to get dressed. We don't get to pick our clothes. Gosh. I can't believe it's actually really finally opening. I guess he was telling the truth. My uncle is Keiji Inafune, a game creator known throughout the universe. He'd been telling me for years that his dream was to make a theme park from all of his favorite games. You can guess what that means, chat. So, 
Unfortunately, KJ Inafune does not voice himself in the game. Hi, Rex. How you doing? All his favorite games equals PC98 hentai games. You can't, you can't just out Inafune like that. It's got to be a surprise for his knee, skinny. PC98 Toho games. Ah, yes. Inafune is a huge Zun fan. It's not that surprising he did it, really. He's always making his dreams into reality, and video games are a pretty big deal these days. Every single thing in the park is based on a popular game. Look, Rick, I did not pick the name. Chat picked the name. I agreed to the name. <laughs> this is my stop! Sure hope nothing bad happens today, she just activated the fucking flag. I made my way out of the busy station and walked quickly toward the park, excitement putting a spring in my step. This is it. This is the Gamatorium! The only people who'd been allowed in were staff members, their families, and some news crews. But even so, the place was packed. The crematorium. We'll see, Rick. We'll see. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like that seat's open. We smiled at each other as I sat down in the empty seat. Who'd you smile at? I could see a number of older men in suits sitting on the stage in the front. I figured they must, be, they must have been the park's managers and owners. In front of the stage was a whole row of cameras. They had to belong to the press. It's really getting a lot of attention, huh? I saw a story about how the game of Toriel was about to open on TV just the other day. I was still looking around excitedly when I heard a drum roll start up. It sounded like things were about to start. From somewhere near the stage, I could hear a band begin to play. This is it. It's finally starting. And what is this game? This is a visual novel in which we play the niece of Keiji Inafune, Rick. Uh, we play the niece of the guy who worked on Mega Man, and more importantly, and I'm not gonna let chat forget it, he worked on Mighty Number no. 9. Um, oh, and Kizuna, I think there are gonna be some guys that might catch your attention here. Just saying. That's him! That's my uncle! I almost leapt up to wave at him before I caught myself. Huh? Is something wrong with the mic? I can't hear him. He stepped back from the mic, confused, and tapped it a couple of times. I hope everything's okay. I was starting to fidget when suddenly... What? Oh no, this game is perfect for Guinea. It has bad puns. It has bad puns and a pig. A cigar smoking pig. What is this? I could see my uncle running back and forth in confusion. What the heck is going on? Who was that voice? What were they talking about? <laughs> I drink. Something was wrong. Even from far away, I could see that all of the men in suits all looked very sick. Oh, oi! Aromiro! All right, I'm throwing the webcam on so you can see me not hydrating, guys. I 
I turned toward where he was pointing. What? <laughs> One big gulp will do. There. Lean deep into the mic. It's a gulp. A crowd of you people in what looked like black unitards were running in through the entrance. Pigman did indeed take away the funky beat. Of course, that would make sense. My uncle has always been good at thinking of fun stuff, and he's got a great sense of humor. The guys in the unitards ran up to the stage and started tying up the men in business suits. Yes, excellent sense of humor. I couldn't begin to guess what was going to happen next, so I just kept watching with bated breath. <laughs> Same mascot I had on my phone strap. I wasn't sure what he meant by doing away with Kangaroo. Did that mean that the park was going to close? Gosh, Uncle Keiji, you sure think of some weird stuff. Like <coughs> Mighty Number no. 9. Everyone seemed stunned that the park's mascot would be done away with on the first day. Looking at how worked up the audience had gotten, I was sure my uncle was feeling pretty proud of himself. Then suddenly, smoke filled the stage, and I could just barely make out something rising up from below it. Paper Mario fused with mother music. I had to stifle a laugh. His voice didn't match up with his costume at all. He formed an odd sort of self indulgent pirouette and bowed. <laughs> Hi, Kabbalist. You don't know if you're high enough for this? We've just started. <laughs> How you doing today? Jesus, if only this guy had talked to us all before the Mighty Number no. 9 Kickstarter had finished, you know? Like, I, I gave that Kickstarter money. I have a t-shirt and everything from it. <laughs> Actually, when did this game come out? It came out... It came out in North America on August 27th, 2013. The Kickstarter for Mighty Number no. 9 started on August 31st, 2013. <laughs> Zero Escape AU? It's not actually part of Zero Escape. But, um, when people are asking for games similar to this, Zero Escape is often referenced. Which is why we're using Zero Escape as the baseline for it. <laughs> Should have made a Mega Man dating sim instead. <laughs> he blew something up. He made the thing go boom! Huh? No sooner had he spoken than the ferris wheel exploded in a thunderous roar of flames. We watched, mouths hanging open, as the symbol of the park crumbled to the ground in a cloud of smoke. I'm starting to think maybe this isn't just an act. As soon as I turned back to the stage, the entire crowd erupted in a of frightened people quickly drowned out the fading rumble 
Ferris wheels collapse. What? This pig isn't done yet? No, forget about him. I have to save Uncle Keiji. I fought my way through hundreds of terrified attendees towards its age. Even as I did, Count Hogstein continued his stupid speech. I'm <laughs> feeling cagey about that guy, Kitty. <laughs> I want to see if there's any way for me to change the, the voices quality. You can change the individual volumes, but apparently not while it's in the middle of dialogue. Wait, what? Blow up the park? Uh, no? Yeah, here we are. Let's turn the music down. <laughs> Count Hogsdean is just ill when he gets excited about music games, but minus the explosion. Well, actually, like that can stay. And... These are all already at max. There we go. What the hell are you talking about? Taking my uncle and the park staff hostage isn't a game, you jerk! This park is my uncle's dream! And there were so many people looking forward to enjoying it! What should I do? Right. Hey! Hold on! Everybody else was des trying desperately to escape, but I raised my hand high in the air. Count Hogstein frowned. I'll take your challenge! I don't really know what his game is. And if I'm being honest, this is pretty scary, but... Thanks to Uncle Keiji, I've gotten pretty good at figuring out game logic. We found the one person who beat Mighty Number no. 9. Count Hogstein stared at me for a moment. Then snorted. I know what I'm doing. What if we just roast a pig? Can we? Can we roast a pig? I stole a quick glance at my uncle, tied up and gagged. He looked worried. I gave him the slightest of nods, careful not to let Count Hogstein notice. I can't let this park get blown up by that creep. I'll solve the stupid puzzles and I'll save my uncle! I am extremely happy to not have to voice every single character in the game. I gotta tell you, after playing fucking Deathmark for a week. <laughs> this is the worst date? Zillow, we got a whole roast pig. What are you talking about? As it turns out, he just wants us to play Monopoly. Well, they told all the participants to come to the plaza, so here I am. I see six other people. Count Hogstein had mentioned seven heroes, which means the other six people there were probably the other participants. That voice, it's him. Oh, oh, demashi mitai da na. Yatto, 
まったく待ちくたびれたよしかし声はそれども姿が見えませんね一体どこから<笑> How many are assholes and who is the biggest asshole? あそこだあの像の裏から声が聞こえる Statue? Oh, I see it There's a TV on its back that's showing Count Hogstein, but the statue does. He looks like he's wearing a freaking straight jacket, guys. He's totally wearing a straight jacket. <laughs> yeah, y you got that right. <laughs> Who made this game? Uh, this was made by Idea Factory, which is a studio in Japan known for making a lot of,、um, of otome games, so、uh, visual novels aimed at girls. But they also made it in conjunction with Concept, which is the studio founded by, again,、uh, Inafune. <laughs> Why does the pig have goat statues? The pig hopes that if you see the goat statues, you'll, you'll not want to roast pig. You'll, you'll want roast goat instead. Well, at least he realizes he's the antagonist. You'll throw both the goat and the pig into the fire. <laughs> And now he's gone. Gio Hompona Cata Desne. That's done time, Utte, you are a Temosa. Hontoni Jiko Shokai to Casuno. Ma. Wait, wait, that's why you need names because you're going to fight a villain? Suzhou a k a s へえすごい本物初めて見たよ What's a detective doing at an amusement park? Yeah, actually, what is a detective doing at, the, at an amusement park? ヒバンでその格好はねえわな。警備か何かってところかああ、オープニングイベントの警備を指揮していた。He... He did not do his job right, chat. He was in charge of security. He, he definitely failed there. <laughs> glasses is gonna be a total douche canoe. We got two people with glasses on screen right now, Cavalis. Oi, oi. So, what's your name? Conno Jokio Maneta Genkoga. You shall summon no Ichimi no Kayo. Shades. Thank you. <laughs> He did his job just really poorly, like everyone else in anime security. <laughs> he's just glaring. I guess he's not the good cop. Ma, ma, Koko de Watashi Narasotemo, Nanimo Hajimari Masa. Ochi Tsui take him ashore. A budget bash to stampede. He even has the glasses, that one. Watashi wa Ura de Kimimaro to Moshimas. Sokugyo wa Goran no Tori. Oh, that's a nice change of pace. He seems like he's pretty nice, if a little weird. And 
He really does look like a fortune teller. We got a con artist too. Straight jacket dude. Did he not hear? Um, I think it's your turn. What's your name? Meoshikota. He's unemployed. Uwakura. I guess he doesn't talk much. But this kid, I feel like I've seen his face somewhere before. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. We have not seen you on TV. You recognize two of the voices. Uh, without saying who's who, we've had Suzumura Kenichi, Kaji Yuki, Morita Masaka uh, Masakazu, Narita Ken, Suabe Junichi. もう<笑> The best way to fuck someone up when they think they're famous. Who the fuck are you? わ、ショック。少年時代ジュニア。知らないの一応今日のイベントにもゲストで招かれてた芸能人なんだけどな。So this kid is a pop idol. He's a member of a boy band. Of course, I remember. The Junior Junior Boys is a boy band that was super popular, mostly with girls. All the members were really cute and a bunch of my classmates were fans. Eh, boy bands aren't really my thing, you know? That explains why he looked familiar, though. Yeah, I, I mean, they're not really the target demographic for boy bands, kid. Where is Band at? Apparently, he was the only one uh, invited to be a guest for this. In uh, Japan, a lot of boy band members, they work separately on their own. I think that old guy's comment might have made things a bit awkward here, but this kid's definitely got the face of a star. Oh, if the process for boy idols is the same for girl idols, you can see why he'd be surprised if all guys don't like him. So, uh, you're actually not too far off the mark there, Kitty. Just saying. I'm Mitarashi Ryusei. I'm the host of So in case she didn't get it from his introduction dialogue, uh, Ryusei here is a host. If you've ever played Yakuza and dealt with the hostess clubs, he is the male version of that. <laughs> he doesn't really look like an escort. But the way he talks. Keiji ni uranai shi, mushok, idol to kite, host made iru no ga. Nanto na, migoto ni barabara na men men da na. He's an ass of to kick his butt. Oi, so you anta wa nani mon nanda ya? Hito ni nanorase de oki nagara, jibun wa danmari te. So lea fair ja nain ja nega? He's all about love and peace. Ah, oh, sorry. Give and take a 
So for the weebs in chat, the old weebs in chat, I guess, this guy's voice actor uh, is the same voice actor as Sashomaru in Inuyasha. That, that just came to mind. This guy is Suwaga Junichi, who um, you guys might most recently recognize as the delinquent brother, the older delinquent brother in Tokimeki Memorial Girl Side 3. <laughs> the one who played Hanafuda. Suzumura Kenichi here has done a shit ton of things. Um, honestly, I guess the most common thing that I can think of is that he was... Huh. He voiced Zack in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> He's, like, he's a fairly popular guy, but that's, like, out of everything that's recent, that's the thing I can think of. S suspicious? <laughs> I'm As Asabun. I'm a high school student. I was thinking, but I this dude is voiced by Hino Satoshi. Um, my weep thing, my weep uh, credentials have long since fucking faded. But uh, basically, when this game came out, all these voice actors were really popular. And so I am like rapidly scouring his Wikipedia entry to see who he might have done. <laughs> Um, geez, I'm seeing like familiar anime names, and I know none of these characters because I'm I have definitely held on to my weeb credentials. Someone take my weeb card and rip it up. He's definitely very popular in um in games aimed at girls like this one. T to stop the bombs, of course. And to rescue the hostages. After I spoke, they all fell silent. Yeah, we're probably the youngest out of the world. Shinji Rarena yo. Boku da tara sokko de nigeru. Teyuka, shojiki ima mo kaeri tai kimochi de ippai. Kaete ima nara boku mo. The Shodan is voiced by uh, Morita Masakazu, who people might more commonly know as the protagonist of Bleach, Ichigo, the spiky orange haired dude, or also Titus, Tita, from Final Fantasy X. So, what are you doing here? I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, Titus laughed. Alright, good luck with your practice, Leo. Thanks for stopping by. Sasuga Keiji Samoa, you could have a chugana. Tene Urimotanin no Shimpega. Jim May will use censor no atos and no coda. Case has come to stem. Stoto stem. We're gonna divine the hostage's fate with a crystal ball. Wardoiが、俺は非科学的なものは信じない。そうですか。それは残念です。はあ、早く帰りたい。<笑> This 
disappointing. None of these guys really feel like hero material. Yeah, no, this music is a jam. And I guess none of them chose to be here, so I can't really blame them for being upset. I'm just worried about whether or not we can pull this off. until that moment that one of the people in the black unitards had appeared next to us. There was no question he was the, uh, piglet. おっ、タイムリアだって。面倒くせえな。ここでいやいいだろう。まあまあ、見たらしさ。状況が状況ですし、今は彼の言う通り。なんだと。ちなみに、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は
問い詰められるのは当たり前のことですが、危険に巻き込まれても、自己責任だということ、後で把握もついてもらいますからね。We have to sign a fucking waiver to be in this death game that only one person willingly agreed to be a part of. Grad school finals are kicking your butt, but otherwise you're good? I'm sorry to hear about the grad school finals, but I'm glad to hear you're good. You're, you're probably doing better than our,、uh, our protagonist is. <laughs> If you can't beat a game, then the attraction blows up with you in it. Yep. <laughs> What truly is the difference between a death game and grad school? There is none. Speaking with the outside is verboten. At least with the death game, it's over once it's over. Grad school makes you question your life choices, it is never over. In a death game, you never had a choice. Technically, we chose to join the death game. We chose to join the death game. Renlak Kinshi? Dosio. スケジュールに穴が開いちゃうよ。Apparently, it's the idol's fault that he decided to go to an amusement park and got caught up in a fucking death game. What a jerk. The sixth rule is that you're not allowed to escape. Not allowed to escape. Obviously. <laughs> And of course, because this is 777, we have seven rules. Oh no! As soon as he finished talking, Count Hogstein began to laugh, his stomach jiggling obscenely. How can he laugh about killing people? He's awful! I frowned, trying to think of something to say when. I like this dude now. I'm, allowed, I'm about to let my fist control his face! Shiro was doing his best to hold Mitarashi back, but I wasn't sure how long he'd last. You need to calm down. If you get mad, you're just doing what he wants. So, the rule is. ワールド軍に手を出すなとありました破れば人質の身が危うくなります<笑> He punched something anyway He swore and shook off Shiro slamming his fist into a nearby pillar お利口さんが混じっていて安心しました With a slimy smile, he clapped his hands. At his signal, the piglets took cold of the blue cloth. It fell away from the box, revealing. Ah! <laughs> What I thought was a box was actually a giant cage. And inside of it was my uncle and the park management. Can we get those pigs set loose on Disney? Please? いつでも人質を始末できるぞというあいつのご挨拶か。Like, I want to be clear, I love Disney parks. Like, I have given way too much money to Disney parks in just the past few years. But, I mean, that, that doesn't sound like too bad a deal. Yeah, I, I do not love Disney management. 
Especially not with the whole any ha anything you uh, type using the hashtag May the Fourth is going to be co-opted by us thing that they did today. <laughs> it's a cagey cage. Yes, it is very much a cagey cage. <laughs> Is, is that the giant metal ball like up up in the air behind the, the chandelier? That is definitely the giant metal ball up in the air behind the chandelier. And and that's the cage under. Metal ball? As I spoke, he grinned and looked up toward the ceiling. I followed his gaze. No! It was all too clear what Count Hogstein's message was. That's... Could you talk a little louder, dude? It was what we were all thinking. Even if I can too afraid to say it. He's so smug. I just want to punch him in that massive jiggly gut every time he opened his mouth. アトラクションの前にはなんとか仕掛けられていますので皆さんで力を合わせてそれを解いて進んでくださいクリアできなかったらアトラクションは爆破かえ、なんだって言っておりましたがアトラクションの爆破と同時にアトラクションの方をずっ
I mean, uh, Stockholm Syndrome is a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Where you fall in love with someone uh, that you're stuck with on like a suspension bridge or something like that. It is Stock I, I think they use Stockholm Syndrome for that. For that adrenaline rush that makes you think you're in love. <laughs> why don't you hit on people at a gym? <laughs> or why you don't hit on people at a gym? And yet, people still do it anyway. Our first game is an RPG. Any guesses on what it references? Another piglet appeared to guide us, and we set off for the attra RPG attraction Hogstein had indicated. <laughs> We're boned because it's an RPG? It reminds you of Catherine and the guy deciding love while surviving death gains every night. Basically... Before the opening, my uncle had told me that the park was divided into seven different themed areas. So I I just want to point out that Disney parks also generally use the same layout. Uh, the, the central hub, and then the seven different themed areas. Each area has a main attraction that represented the theme. This park, this this theme park only has uh, seven rides apparently. <laughs> what do you like about a girl? I just barely be escaped being launched on by a giant abyss monster. Oh wait, there we go. Now, that's a very good reason to like a girl. Toasted. That's how you fall in love. A baby's chasing you up a whole bunch of fallen blocks. And that's how you know you're in love. You survived. You thought about someone. That must be the person you're in love with. N not because she called you or anything. And that's why she's the first person in your mind. I glanced around as I walked. Trying to compare what I was seeing to what I remembered about the park's layout. No one spoke and our footsteps were heavy and slow. Everyone's mind was on what the pig had told us. Whatever. Right now, I need to concentrate on figuring out how to beat these games. I was glaring so hard at the back of the pig's head that I didn't hear Shido start talking. You gotta go to mix it. Why is that dude wearing Mojave's wreck? He's a cop. まあ、確かにそうだが、今は状況を整理する必要がある。それに、このランドの詳しい情報が必要だ。well, I know a little bit about it. I explained to them what I'd been thinking earlier. So the main attraction in the RPG part of the park is probably... Bushido Fantasy 7. Samurai Fantasy 7! Samurai Fantasy 7. <laughs> you already pre-ordered, right? Nice, Kizuna. Nice. Nan, Oma, Yakini Kuashi Janego. Besni, Tama 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 Tama. 
That seems like kind of a weird response, but whatever. Shido frowned at Mitarashi, then turned to me. Yes? Fuck with the hydrate. What? No, well, I'm related to someone who works for the park. <laughs> Gotta not be thirsty before death. Yeah, if you're thirsty before death, that's how you mistake the feelings of I survive for I love this person. <laughs> yeah, they were. Naruhodo. So they got in like the Mutual School Tamini. Oh my wa on not a ni kuna kiken na kotoni kubio tsukondo. Excuse me. You're a guy and you did not volunteer. You're a cop and you did not volunteer to be in this death thing. What the fuck does that make you, my dude? What the fuck does that make you? <laughs> Even though you're a girl. <laughs> yeah, he, he a shitty park cop. He's not technically a park cop, he's a regular police force member. Uh, who got assigned for, for this big attraction. But still. Nah, he, he's shitty. Rabbit squeezed my hand reassuringly and gave me a somber bow. Maybe I should have mentioned my uncle earlier. Then they might have been more willing to help me. I thanked him and let go of his hand. Samu, what's it? Phantasmagoria. Bushido Fantasy 7 was a very important part of the world. The world was a very important お前さんやけに詳しいな。元になったゲームを知ってるのか。ゲーム好きなんだ。今日だって会場で限定のDLCが配布されるって言うから来た。Tobunaga <笑> is just behind the corner. You sense it. You know I still need to go back and finish uh Sakura Wars. I, I looked up some, some strategies for it, and I need to get back to that. I need to beat the game! Oh, so that's why he knows about it. Mitsurashi frowned. Huh? DLC? This dude does not live with his mom. He does not know what DLC is. If only none of us can know what DLC is. ダウンロードコンテンツのことだよ。うん。とにかくこれで元ネタの内容はだいたいつかめた。ジャボレッツクライ。問題はそれが一体どんなアトラクションになってるかだな。ワールドブーのことです。考えもつかないような罠を仕
if you need help getting girls, hold a stick of Pocky in your mouth. He could be a yan yan with incredible chocolate distribution. I have never seen a yan yan with good cho chocolate distribution. Actually, just buy you a pizza. Also, a very effective way of, of, of getting a girl's attention. My Pocky brings all the boys to the yard. Yan Yan is still good because you get to control how much chocolate is on there. It's just that I like because you can control how much chocolate goes on on the stick biscuit. Uh, it's always always too much. Or when I do it to some people, what the hell? You barely got any chocolate on there. You had to talk. I, I hope there was a little dance with it. Hi, Pants. How are you today? Kizuna's heart lies with burgers. Cavallis likes their pizza Detroit style. There was a dance. Okay, good. That's interesting. I just had Detroit style pizza like last week. Is this a boyfriend finding? This is partially a boyfriend find the game, partially uh, we're gonna make fun of Mighty Number no. Nine uh, game, and partially uh, Disney but video games game. I know that sounds very convoluted, but Chad can probably tell you that none of what I've said is untrue. <laughs> so you won't be able to get the boyfriend. Basically, we don't really want to get the boyfriend, do we? We're a freaking high schooler. All these people are old. They are not age appropriate. We should be dating the pig. There is a pig. There is a pig. If all of this hadn't happened, what would Samurai Fantasy 7 have been like? I felt sad. I had a feeling Uncle Keiji did too. The egg don't chase the sperm, sis. Oh, that is the best way I've heard that put. Wow. Holy crap, I like that. Anyway, here we are at Bushido Fantasy 7. I I'm sorry, Samurai Fantasy 7. The gate looked like one from a European castle, but the towers that rose up, from it be rose up behind it looked Japanese. It could have come across as cheesy and contrived, but I thought it was a nice touch. Really? Huh? I turned to look. It was just like the statue we'd seen in the plaza. あの<笑> Count Hogstein appeared on the screen. His disgusting voice echoed through the empty air. <laughs> Wakasa covered his ears and shut his eyes tight. Just looking at him made me feel a little helpless and scared. I volunteered for this. I have to face the consequences. Shido gave me a small nod. Oi, Wakasa, to. Omae no kimochi mo wakaru na. 
ここはもう進むしかないたて彼女も気丈に振る舞っているじゃないか I really wish this dude would stop using gender as his basis for behavior He slowly stood back up but his face was pale and he looked ready to collapse at any moment Um maybe he should stay out here I don't remember there there I don't remember there being a rule about all seven of us having to go into the attraction. This brave young lady, this beautiful girl, this courageous vagina. Why can't you do what she's doing? Why can't you do what she's doing? Why can't you do what she's doing? ガイタクワナイナ。万が一、このアトラクションを失敗したら誰が人質を助ける。そうとなると全員でアトラクションに入るってのもバカバカしいぜ。おっす。じゃ、じゃあ僕はここで。He But before he could even finish his sentence, Thank you for the follow, Hordian. How you doing today? Ah. There was something about what he'd said that triggered new feelings of apprehension. I glanced over at the others to see them staring silently at the screen. You're drinking tea? What kind of tea? Hogstein nodded sanctimoniously. Hogstein nodded sanctimoniously. The person in black turned to us and gestured. Huh? It seems like he's. Trying to say something. Well, yeah, that's what we were told to do. We gotta go follow his ass. The piglet nodded earnestly. He didn't actually say men, but. You get the gist. Shido strode off toward the castle without waiting for the rest of us to follow. I trotted along behind him and the others slowly followed suit. As we got close, the castle's gates began to grind open. Oi, what is attraction? This piglet is, is a mood for me right now. It didn't speak, just twitched around like a worm in a frying pan. I'm not sure. Was it possible Count Hogstein had forbidden them from talking? Imagine if they all have like duct tape over their mouths under that mask. You heard Otoko. So he's been very, very gender biased, but uh, 
I did not hear Otoko uh, in there. I could be wrong though. It's been, it's been some time. Excluding callers for if they talk, I would not put it past the pig. Which is why the pig has so far been the best character in this game. Oi, Mina. We all nodded and each held up a watch or a cell phone, anything with the time on it. And we got seven hours left. We'll do. After all, if we didn't stay alert, in seven hours, we'd be dead. We walked through the gate and up to the castle. Up close, the towers looked even taller. The piglet gestured for us to go in. Inside was a long hallway that looked like a set from a period movie. I could just see a room at the end of it. Yeah, I think you're right. We moved down the hallway slowly and carefully until we reached the door at the end and stepped into the room. Just like the outside of the castle, the interior was also an odd mix of east and west. This particular room seemed to have a stronger European influence. In the center was a statue of a creepy looking animal. A lion, maybe? There was a large device with several panels next to the statue. Each panel had a silhouette of a person on it. The doors to the left and right had chains bolted across them. Obviously, we weren't going out of that way anytime soon. This room is creepy. I sure hope we're not going to get locked in here or something. <gasps> no sooner were the door words out of my mouth than the door swung shut behind us. <laughs> she just had to say it. Yeah, our character's name is Ass Asabun. Chat picked it, but I agreed to it. <laughs> I'd meant it as a joke, but suddenly being trapped in the room with that statue didn't seem so funny. Still, standing around worrying about it was only going to waste time. If we want to get out of here, then we're going to have to solve this puzzle. Every bit of time was precious. I started to look around the room. Seek a way out! Oh, yo, my. Or... Don't seek a way out. Statue murder time. Either we're gonna murderize the statue, or the statue's gonna murderize us. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I won't touch anything. I guess you don't get to be a police detective without being methodical. We do need to be cautious, but Mitarash is right, too. If we don't move quickly, we're gonna be in bad shape. I started moving around the room, examining things, and before long, the others started to do the same. That statue and the panels next to it both seemed pretty suspicious. I mumbled to myself and walked toward the statue. Then suddenly, I heard a mechanical voice begin to speak. You don't like our chances against Stone. We'll be fine. It's not like we're soft, squishy meat bags or anything. Hmm. Nani ka hinto ka? What's a new end? He raised a hand to point at the thing in the center of the room. Oh, so a new is an animal? I thought it was a lion or something at first, but as I looked closer, 
I could see that wasn't even close. Mue wa toshika Nihon ni tsutawaru densetsu no ikimono desu. Wow, that's pretty cool. Nande sonna zou ga koko ni okarete nda? With all our eyes on the Nue, something that looked sort of like smoke began to spill out of its mouth. Did we just get poisoned? What? What the heck is this? Mina! So it's gotta hanareo! His voice was slightly muffled by the handkerchief he'd suddenly pressed over his mouth and nose. The rest of us all clasped whatever we had to our own faces. Someone didn't wear masks when they went outside. By now, the stuff pouring out of its mouth was purple. Clearly, it wasn't ordinary smoke. Smoke would have risen up, but this was slowly spreading out over the floor. Ayumu frowned and rubbed a hand across his rough beard. とりあえず、下手に動かない方がいい。煙の逃げ場がないからな。動けば動くほどガスが広がる速度を早める可能性がある。どうしよう。このままで死んじゃうよ。叫ぶな。空気を乱すんじゃない。それこそ資金が早ま
Slowly and carefully, we made our way back to the statue. And here? I'm not sure where you are, Pants. I know you're not in the US, but... If you, if you live in a country where you can trust the cops, I'm glad for you. In New Zealand, oh yes! Oh shit, I'm so envious of you! The thing that voice said earlier sounded like a hint. Do any of you know what it might mean? おのが宿命に目覚め魔性のあやかし縫えを移せし打てざれば縫えの毒に徹しすべしか打てざれば以下の言葉の意味はそのままですから私たちはまず小野が宿命に目覚めの意味を考えるべきでしょうか yeah, we don't have a lot of time, so why don't we split up? Even with the UK being far from perfect, your interactions with cops there were shocking. From day one, such politeness. It probably helps that they have no gun. It's cause they're all named Bobby. <laughs> um let me think. How do we want to split up? Alright. Uh so we can go with the cop, uh the straight jacket kid, and Mr. Panicky Idol. And we could go check out the panels, like the little glowing thing here. Or uh, we can go check out the statue with uh, with knockoff Vash the Trigun, um, the host club dude, and the fortune teller dude. Hey, Robbie. Uh, Urabe is is a name here, but yeah, help help us decide. Are we going to go check out the panels, or are we going to check out the statue? Kizuna says statue. Robbie also says statue. Robbie wants to see his namesake. Their namesake. Alright. Myself, Shirabe, Mitarashi, and Urabe will check out the statue. I really didn't want to get too close to a weird poison spewing statue, but it didn't look like I had a choice. しかし見れば見るほど気持ち悪いぞだぜ。伝説の生き物だっつってたか。ルエってのは平家物語、原平聖水記なんかに登場する。諸説あるが、頭が猿、銅が狸、手足は虎、尾は蛇の化け物だ。The head of a monkey, the body of a tom nook, the legs of a tiger, and the snake for a tail. And yes, I did say the body of a tom nook. Shirabe taps his forehead with fi a finger as he spoke. Uh, uh, as he spoke. You seem to know a lot about this stuff. Ma, <laughs> You're gonna be dead and owe money at the same time. The worst kind of demon. At least they didn't use a little girl. Hordian, I know you're referring to Full Metal Alchemist, but the last game we played in the Monday to Thursday time slot had a lady with snake arms, ostrich legs, 
a head that had the snout of a pig, but the mouth of a crocodile, and the torso of a human woman. We seem to come across chimeras a lot in, our, in the game here. <laughs> ah yes, Mizu! In fact, it was Mizu. <laughs> right. We examined every inch of the statue, taking care to avoid the poison. Oh! No, sir. It looks like... It looks like there's a button here. I pointed to the base of the snake tail. All in all, there were five buttons, one each on the head, neck, leg, stomach, and tail. It only sounds cool. Yeah, she, she did not look so great when we had to fight her. Miss Miss Zhu was was not fun. <laughs> she made us take tests. That's the real reason she was not fun. Cause she made us take tests. That's night fuel. It was a horror game, so it makes sense. The final boss was nightmare fuel to you? The final boss of the entire game or Red Riding Hood? No, no, I, I got what you meant. Don't worry, Hordian. Of the entire game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, she wasn't fun to look at either. No lie there. <laughs> Mitsurashi grumbled and turned pointedly back to looking at the buttons. I wonder if pushing one of these will stop the gas. I really, really like the music in this game, guys. We met up again and began to exchange information. Alright, let's go over everything. The panels are the seven adventurers from Samurai Fantasy VII. The only one that is lit is the monk. The five buttons on the, the five buttons on the Nue are on the head, neck, leg, stomach, and tail. That's everything, right? Everyone nodded. Panel and Zou. These two elements are exactly how they This is tough. What does awaken to your destiny mean? You're confused by Samurai Fantasy 7, Hordian? Um, copyright issues. They can't use the real name of the game. And also, they're, they're just coming up with, with games. <laughs> because they actually have to, uh, like we have, we're in a theme park where the attractions, the rides, are based off video games. As we thought, the soft hiss of gas filled the silence. Yeah, like McDonald's. We have to do something, and soon. Or I glanced down at the time; an hour had already passed. I could see everyone else was feeling the pressure too. All around the room were twitchy feet and bit lips. Wait, there's a burger bishop somewhere out there? Really? Huh? Well, wait, stop! I tried to grab him, but he just shook me off. You got me excited for a bit, Toasted. Oh, Yosef! 
Shido dashed forward to try and stop it, but Mitsurashi hit the button on the statue's leg before he could. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna get poisoned by this dude. Everyone froze. Huh? A bright chime echoed through the room as the light on the bunk panel clicked off and the mage panel lit up. He learned the wrong lesson. He learned the wrong lesson. It is, in fact, Aspen. <laughs> we are Aspen. Before anyone else could stop him, Mitarashi smacked the button on the Nui's stomach. He grabbed the other man by the collar and shook him. No, stop! I tried to shove them apart, but as I did... We got poisoned again. There's a burgers on Bishop restaurant. They better have some good burgers. Otherwise, next I will be looking for uh for Burger Pawn. <laughs> Mitsurashi and Shiro leapt away from the statue, and I could see that gas was indeed pouring out of its mouth much faster now. <laughs>俺たち全員の命がかかっているんだぞ。悪かったって。でもよ、俺が思い切ってボタンを押したおかげで、ボタンに何かの法則があることが分かったじゃないか。それはそうだな。しかし、万が一のことを考えて、もう少し話し合
不正解でカードが赤くなったのですねおそらくそれじゃあ次は Which button are we supposed to push next? More poison? You're going to completely irrationally think Meoshi is the real villain for a while? Hey, that's totally fine. You might look a little like a, like a cigar smoking pig. Uh, it was the tail, so I'm just gonna guide that one. The tail should be next. So, so, shippo da ta na. Jo ho te no wa, seikaku san ga inochi. その場その場の出来事を正しく覚えておくのも大事なことだ。Why, why like、お嬢ちゃん、なかなか見込みがあるぜ。He likes us more now because we got the answer right. That's what that little heart bomb, heart bomb was. Okay, sounds like the tale is probably right. それでは、今度は私がボタンを押しましょう。尻尾ですね。He got lost and it was way to an Ace Attorney game and ended up in a game of that. I feel like the Ace Attorney game would have done him better, honestly. When a rabbit pushed a button on the statue's tail, a small chime sounded. <笑>赤くなっていた呪術師のカードが消えた。When the mage panel turned off, the hunter panel had lit up. It's on the hunter now! You were right, Miyoshi! He let a long, shaky sigh of relief. Yeah, we've only got one button left, but which one? Miyoshi had said the hunter attacked at last, but he hadn't said where. Well, we've already attacked the leg and the tail, so that leaves us with three options. It didn't take long for the others to come to the same conclusion, of course. Yosh, Sugi de Saigo da. Ga, Saigo no botan wa dore o usubeki na no ka. Oi, Meoshi Kota. Game de Kariudo ga kogeki suru no wa dono bubunda. Meoshi shook his head slowly. He doesn't remember. <laughs> Puck is very angry at Miyoshi. <laughs> Don't be too hard on him. Who's going to remember every single detail of a big game like that? Maybe it's time to put the button it's like remembering that Dull is one of the passcodes for the briefcase in Silent Hill 2. Dull is not a passcode in Silent Hill 2. The wiki just said it was for the longest fucking time. This is bad. If Mayoshi couldn't remember though, there wasn't a whole lot we could do. And then suddenly, Shirabe spoke up. Yumi no Komiki. He was mumbling to himself and tapping his forehead with his fingers. Is this some sort of nervous habit? He was doing it before, too. Tashka, Eke Monogatari ni Yoreba, Nueva, Minamoto no Yorimasa na Senzo de Aru, Minamoto no Yorimitskara Uketsi da Yumi de Taijista. Game no Motoneta wa Osuraku Korega. We don't have Nobunaga, we have a Minamoto. <laughs> they just need a punchy. They just need a punchy to remember how to speedrun Samurai Fantasy 7. So Wow, Shrabe sure knows a lot of stuff. I 
As he spoke, a rabbit leaned over and pressed a button. One puzzle down, I thought. But... We were fooled. We thought it was over. We thought we were speedrunning escape room. But it was I, Dio! How long even is an FF7 speedrun? Um, we'd have to Google that real quick. But while I'm doing this, what? <laughs> The gas was also coming out of the Nui's mouth faster than before. OG FF7 has it as a, has world record any percent no slots at seven hours. Any percent is just a little like four seconds under seven hours, so basically the same. Long, yeah, it's long. We do have more poison. The gas was also coming out of the newest mouth faster than before. Let me top that. 100% Batin Kaito's origins. Uh, for those less inclined to speedruns in the chat, uh, the Batten Kaito's Origin speedrun, uh, if you do it 100%, takes, I believe, uh, the course of two weeks. Because some of the items unlock via time. You actually have to, le you actually have to leave the game running. for it to unlock the items, so you can get that 100%. It should have worked. Shido was right, so what happened? Something's off. I couldn't shake the feeling that we'd missed some important part of the puzzle. I ran the announcement we'd heard earlier over and over in my head. What am I missing from that announcement? EXPLOSIVE INSIGHT! The Explosive Insight System helps you solve problems with the power of your mind. We're going Danganronpa. Pick the words and phrases that stand out by setting bombs on up to three of them. If one of your choices was the right one, then a flash of inspiration will bring you the solution to your conundrum. I think the announcement said, Awaken, your dest awaken to your destiny and slay the demon who is. Fail to slay the Nui and die by its poison. Everything after fail to say is pretty straightforward, so we decided to focus on Awaken to Your Destiny. We split up and examined the statue and the panels. To slay the Nui, we figured out we would need to follow specific steps. We got the monk and the mage right, which left us with the hunter. Thanks to Shirabe, we knew we needed to attack the neck. But when Urabe pushed the button, it didn't work. At this rate, we are going to die by its poison. So what is it that we haven't figured out yet? The floating text has you sending for some reason. Alright, announcement said awaken to your destiny and slay the Nui. Uh, fail to slay the Nui and die by its poison. At least we have fucking jam while we're trying to figure this out, right? Um... I mean, we get to choose up to three phrases, so... It's been years since I've played this and I don't remember it myself. And also, I, I never finished this game either. Which is why it's in my backlog and why we're playing this. 
So if uh, chat has any ideas, I am willing to take that. But in the meanwhile, uh, let's see. I feel like this game wouldn't be tricky enough to make fail to slay. The power of your mind is weak right now. That's fair. You can just listen to the jam and enjoy it. Um, but yeah. Thinking about it. Uh, I mean, focusing on Awaken to Your Destiny seems, seems right. So let's get one there. Die by its poison and fail to slay. If you were on coffee, you would be of more use. No worries, Ordia. You don't know how that would help. Yeah, I don't know either, but... It's just something that, that makes her realize. Also, I just realized... She's got... She's got a bomb haircut. Normally, normally, if you leave out this like st the sticking up hair, the, the idiot hair, like if you leave this part out, it's it's a bowl haircut. It's a mushroom haircut. But she has the little idiot hair sticking up, so it's a bomb haircut. Um, you're burned out from finals. You'll be no help whatsoever. It's cool. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in um die and fail to slay. We had a one in three shot and awaken to your destiny was it? We still haven't figured out what Awaken to Your Destiny is supposed to mean. Fail to slay that ass. At least we have an ass this time. We're not assless. Could that be the hint we need? So, game the game the game of the game the game of 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 the 自分の宿命に気がつくという意味だろう。そう。ということはだ。We so, just haven't figured out what uh what our destiny is. I think this is it. We're finally gonna beat this puzzle. We still don't know what awakening to our destiny is, but we're gonna beat this puzzle. あの職業を示すか。あいつが怪しいな。己が宿命に目覚めと何か関連が。あのさ実は一つ思いついたことがあるんだけどなんだ若さとは言ってみろ元のゲーム武士道ファンタジー7ってさ7人のパーティーになるって言ってたよねああだからカードも7枚あるんだよね今ここにいるのもちょうど7人
なんで俺が格闘家だそいつが呪術師なんだよ。I have the sweet abs of a guy who just trains all day. Wow! That confidence! This is 999 but with FF classes?、Uh, it's only FF classes for this one game. As we go to a different attraction, it's probably gonna change. Hmm. Image ではないでしょうか Huh? Image だと実際の職業というより、まあ、漠然とした我々の人物像との類似性で考えればよいのだと思います。He was right. Mitsurashi certainly seemed like a martial monk, and Urabe clearly looks like someone who used magic. Like, not like he's holding a crystal ball or anything. Am I far into the game? No, we're, we're only about like two hours into the game, actually. We just started this today. Then, who's the hunter? Sore, o my. I s t o o w What? Not the Orena Kariu don't under. Cop wants to know why he's the hunter. Yeah, ma, hold on. He grinned, making a gun with his hand and pretended to fire it. Pew! 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 Oh, well, if that's the case. So did I. Yeah, short of mother, Jordan, that there. What? Before anyone could stop him, Shido reached over and pushed a button on the neck. Everyone gasped. Ah! The flow of, the, the flow of gas from the newest mouth suddenly stopped. Oh, look! Zoga is moving! It slid slowly to the side, revealing a staircase leading to a lower floor. As it did, a chime sounded, and the hunter panel turned green. The gas was in the water. He was right. I could see the thick fog quickly vanishing into the vents on the walls. It looks like we've beaten the first part of this game. I let out a sigh of relief. It took only a few moments for all the gas to disappear. Yare, yare. I felt the entire room relax. Shikashi. Everyone, that is, except for Shiro. He was busy drowning at the new egg. Is something wrong? Yeah. Also, like, Congo Mo, you know, Chini Kakawaru Nazonga Tsukuni Chigai Nai to Motela. Kumna no Gamada Mada Arnoka. Mada Daichi stage does it? Kona Mon Jonok Chidaro. Kono Tema Park no attraction was sweet. こういった形で知識性のあるものにすり替えられているはずだやれやれ危険に巻き込まれても自己責任ってのはこれのことか That just means that if we want to get through this we'll have to be like the adventures in the game and work together They all nodded Just then a short tune played over the room speakers followed by an announcement We got a reward, chat! Before we had time to ponder what it meant, the base of the statue popped open. I ran up to it and looked inside to find a chest that looked exactly like one you might find in a video game. He pulled it out of the chest and showed us. This looks like a map of this attraction. See? Here's the room we're in. I turned to see him glancing down over my shoulder at the map. There were indeed two more rooms. Oh, 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 It's okay if each room takes you two hours, that's only six hours. Right. Oh. 
we headed down the stairs toward the corridor paid. Ooh, look at those walls. Wait. Those heads just jutting out of the walls. When we reached the bottom of the stairs, we found ourselves in the long stone hallway. It was dark and gloomy, but there were torches mounted along the walls casting enough light to see by. He was right. The darkness would have been bad enough, but there were a bunch of what looked like demon heads on the walls. I moved a little closer to one of the heads and noticed a set of panels. These are just like the ones we saw a bit ago. <laughs> Mitarashi pushed forward toward the panel. Oh! <laughs> Sounds like an arrow just shot out. Something flew out the left hand wall at an incredible speed. Mitarashi only managed, only barely managed to jump out of the way in time. Yada. Sure enough, there was now an arrow embedded in the opposite wall. あっ、ね。一瞬反応が遅れてたら、串刺しになるところだったぜ。だな。しかもこの矢、普通に比べて相当太い。おそらく a crossbow quarrel. He frowned and grumbled at Shiro under his breath, but I could see beads of sweat on his forehead. That must have been scary, even if he won't admit it. If nothing else, the arrow sticking out the wall was now a powerful reminder that we needed to be careful. Absolutely, it does. I also think that the bard is you, idle boy, so you get to go first into these traps. The Japanese call the crossbow bow guns. I mean, crossbows are basically bow guns, but um, like crossbow is also a foreign concept. It's not something that the Japanese themselves created. <laughs> yeah, you're sure he's gonna agree to that? He's got no fucking choice. Shirabe's shoulders slumped in exhaustion as he's finished. Wakasa looked too shocked to speak. Onen Uzumaku Kayo, Midari Nisumu Begarazu, Ayakashi no Utani Mimi o Katamukeo, Yami o Terase Hikari Niori, Ayakashiwa Joka Sare. Thinking about Monster Hunter makes sense. Yeah, they're called uh, Bogans in Monster Hunter. Then the voice was quiet. Chi Yimagoro Midari Nisumu Begarazu and the Yagate. Those. I mean, you're the one who raced up ahead, man. It was true that if the announcement had come on earlier, he wouldn't have been in danger. But if he hadn't been in such a hurry in the first place, basically, it's all your fault, dude. Shirabe scratched at his beard and worked the candy around in his mouth. Also, he's had that pocky stick in his mouth for two hours now, apparently. Pocky doesn't last that long. Two hours and no cutie bit it out from him. It must be soggy as hell. Tsutemo. Ayakashi te noa. Kono kabe ni kagatta kimi no warui koitsu no koto shika neishi. Yoshi. 
何にしてもまずは情報を集めることからだそれこそが真実にたどり着く第一歩だからな We need facts, people, facts. Has to be true facts. Shirabe edged toward the nearest head very, very carefully. He began to examine it. Do you see anything? Ah, Koitz no Miken ni Chisa na Hikari na Tomotte. It's an infrared sensor. We cross the infrared sensor, we get skewered. Does it look like a sensor? Ah! I jumped as he waved his hand in front やはりセンサーに触れなければ矢は飛び出してこない仕掛けのようだ Scared me Smash the sensor and the trigger won't fire anymore They don't have anything to smash it with though He sighed and told everyone to step back He waved his hand over the demon's face again This time in front of the sensor Just like before, an arrow shot out of the demon's mouth with blinding speed. Is your hand all right? I mean, the sensor's like quite a bit of ways above the mouth. Like, if we go by it, the sensor was like here, and the mouth is here. You could just hold your hand up here. And you'd be fine. Just saying. しかし、妖怪の顔は左右に無数にある上に、どれもバラバラの位置についている。そのようですね。We all sighed. There's no way we can just run past them or something. That means there's got to be a way we can disable the arrows. I was still mulling it over in my head when Wakasa suddenly spoke up. What is it? That would be too much logic. You're right. Games aren't supposed to have logic. Mitarashi rolled his eyes. Machigate Modaramo Senea Sineo. Otokonara Ichido Kuchinishkake the Kotobo Hikomerunjane. In Japanese, he said, If you're a man, spit like spit out, like say what you, what you want to say. This game is very fucking sexist. Start to move towards Wakasa. Hmm. I do want to know what he noticed. What should I do? We do we stop the big angry man or do we let the tiny man get beaten up? I think if it were up to me, I'd probably uh, stop the big angry man. Tiny man seems more likely to, to say more if he's not about to get beaten up. Wait, don't try and make him tell you. Huh? He probably can, though. Although at this rate we're never going to find anything. Hey, if you really don't want to talk about it, that's okay, but even a tiny little detail could be the clue we need. So, could you 
tell us what you noticed? So maybe I pushed him a little, but what Mitarashi was doing was too much. Stretching? Wakasa was still mumbling and thinking to himself when Shido suddenly raised his head. Can you still hear it? He shook his head and frowned. So I thought it was too much to hear the sound of the wind. I don't know, but I was wrong. Everyone didn't hear it. As it doesn't work like this, it doesn't work like this. Ah yes, the easy way to decide the truth. Put your hand in harm's way. Yosh, so let's just do it once again. Oi, Wakasa, if you hit the sound, hit the sound. I understand, but it's good for me. Yes, I am totally sure you should do it. He looks cute. He's a boy band member. It's kind of his job. If you can hear the sound, you can hear it only if you can hear it. I understand. Good. I'll trigger the sensor. You? Are you okay? I just watched Shirabe do it. As long as I'm careful, I'll be fine. I stepped up to the demon's face, glanced nervously around, then waved my hand over the sensor. Just like before, an arrow shot out and embedded itself in the wall. His hand shot up. Then before I could even react, Shido stepped in front of me and waved his hand in front of the sensor. What did he done the app for? I was still wondering when Wakasa lowered his hand. What was that? Oh, yeah, you're right. なるほど。あなたの行動の意図がわかりました。若さが気づいた音ってのはつまり次の矢の想定音だったってわけだな。あ、時間にして約5秒ほどだ。Five seconds for each of them to walk past this hall. So about, for about five seconds after an arrow is fired, the trap can't fire because it's reloading. Finally, we figure out one part of the announcement. Give ear to the song of the demons. I couldn't hear anything though. You must have really good ears. Sade, Hitomazu Kono Yokai no Kaono Karakuriwa Rikaishita. He's gonna hate everyone by the time we're through this room. They were right. The bard panel was lit up. But who's the bard? You heard Yokai. You did hear Yokai. Boku? All these, uh... Heads we see on the walls are demon heads, they're yokai heads. And they will fire... They will fire <laughs> arrows at us. <laughs> Who is that narrow <laughs> they keep bringing up? That's our secret 8th member, Guinea. That's the guy we're going for. I'm the one who Nihon 
あやかしの歌に耳を傾けられたお前さんにぴったりだろ。In other words, shut up and take it, boy. You're walking through the arrows first. わかったよ。さっきと同じようにすればいいんだよね。He glanced at me and swallowed. For a moment, I was worried he was going to say he was too scared to do it. Maybe now that I've done it, he's too embarrassed to say he was too scared to do something a girl could. This game's sexism. Wakasa said nothing, just turned back around and slowly approached the demon head. He waved his hand in front of the sensor. Oh, look! The bar panel turned off! You forgot to cook dinner. Puck, you should get that taken care of. Do not forget to cook dinner. Dinner is important. Also, please share with chat what your dinner is. Hmm. Ninja, eh? First, I was able to get my hand on the sensor and get my hand on the sensor. But. Hmm. 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 的確に手をかざししかも立ち止まらずに進むのは至難の業だ Salmon and salad because you're boring? Food is never boring, Puck I mean, my dinner was a spam fried rice I made like, just last night after stream One slip up and they'd be toast Everyone was silent. Then, finally, Shirabe spoke. Hitomazu, ano card no ninja ってのが誰に当たるのかだが、残ってるのは俺とゲーマーの兄ちゃんとお嬢ちゃんの三人か。None of these three people seem like they're a ninja. Spam fried rice sounds like a good idea. It was delicious. まあ、普通に考えれば兄ちゃんだろうな。You miss eel sushi a ton? I do miss eel. I don't normally like eel, which is the funny thing. But, like, I have a couple of tins of, uh, of tinned mackerel, like Japanese style tinned mackerel. So they have, they have, like, actual fillets, um, in, like, a miso sauce. But all I can think is that I want tinned eel in its sauce. After watching Punchy eat pizza in his dream, you're craving junk food. Junk food is always a craving, isn't it? Miyoshi's mouth tightened slightly, but he began to walk toward the demon heads. Miyoshi? Ikuyo. Yo wa rizume ge sa. Handan dek to hansha shinken ga. Sukoshi jishin ga. He's a rhythm gamer. Straight jacket boys, a rhythm gamer. <laughs> Let's bring this boy home. What? Hold on a second. Let's not rush into anything. So this yo. Saki no dokas no toki to a chingate. Whatever she pay not dekin. She sang a takasimus. Moskoshi, shinto nikimasho. Crossbow bolt through the abdomen. Affords less margin for error. It is very true. Miyoshi stopped, his brows knit. What are we going to do now? Yami o terasu hikari ni yori, ayakashi wa jouka sareru. Kore no imi ga mada kaimei sarete inai. Mazu wa kore o kangaeru beki da. He has a straight jacket because he's a rhythm gamer. Kore wa. そこの灯籠のことかあるいは妖怪のセンサーの光なのか全然見当もつかねえな I think we gave up hope on having you solve puzzles, dude We all shook our heads in silence What should we do? Think about it some more or let Miyoshi try Let's see if we can't get an explosive insight going on here. 
I really think we should give it this a little more thought first. For several minutes, no one spoke. Finally, Meoshi seemed to come to a decision and began to walk toward the demons again. Wait, what are you doing? He said nothing, just kept walking. It looked like he was going to try it anyway, no matter what we said. No, no, you have to listen at least, dude. You gotta listen. Wakasa covered his face with his hands and turned away. Everyone else watched Miyoshi go, but none of us felt good about it. He took a deep breath, moved into a crouch, and leapt forward. You bet he's dead. Wow! He quickly established a rhythm, touching a sensor, waiting a split second for the arrow to fire, and then moving past to the next one. Even Wakasa had lowered his hands to watch in amazement. Yeah, he's a straight up ninja. In a few moments, he disappeared into the darkness, and all we could hear was the thwack of arrows firing. Oh! A familiar chime echoed down the dark corridor. Then suddenly, the hallway exploded with light. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that's bright! <coughs> I threw up an arm to shield my eyes from the sunlight. As my eyes adjusted, I looked up. I hadn't noticed them before, but there were fluorescent lights all along the hallway ceiling. And down at the end, I could see Meoshi giving us a thumbs up. Good job! That was amazing! I grinned and returned the thumbs up. He really is a ninja. There's no way I could move like that. He sure hadn't looked very athletic, but the way he moved... As he spoke, he waved one of his hands in front of a demonic face. Nothing happened. He gestured toward a spot on the wall. It looked like the switch had turned on the lights when it turned off the demons. He did the yare yare. He wiped sweat from his brow as he spoke and gave a wavering sort of grin. I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding and headed down the hall toward Naoshi. Did you just body check him? He just he, he just body checked him. Mitarashi ignored him and gave Miyoshi another hearty slap on the back. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. This face. This face, guys. This face. Welcome back with dinner, Puck. You have come back in time for this face. Hydrate. Thank you, Kizuna. And Guinea. Yeah, really, you were amazing. Yeah. He looked down at the floor as we spoke, his cheeks turning a bright shade of red. It looked like Miyoshi didn't take compliments very well. And hydrating for Horia. We've only got one more puzzle left. Oh wait, no, that, that wasn't me. <sighs> Yeah, 
there's still another puzzle, but we got this far, didn't we? Yo, it's either that or die, my dude. Deal with it. I get that a lot. Wakasa gave me a look, but before he could speak... It takes a long time for the victory fanfare to come. Whoa, that's the same sound we heard when we cleared the room of the Guardian! The fanfare was quickly followed by an announcement. There was a loud clank from the end of the corridor, like a lock opening. I let out a, I let out a sigh of relief. Only one more puzzle, and then today's attraction is over. The corridor of hate led to a long staircase that took us up and up. ま、悪くないペースだな。We really only been here for three hours? It seemed much longer. Maybe because I hadn't been able to see the sun. Feels like we've been in here all day. I'm tired and now I'm starting to feel hungry. Well, she didn't get to eat lunch. And it's like 3 p.m. Then, almost as if he'd heard me, Miyoshi suddenly sat down on the stairs. Are you alright? Uh, He's obviously tired out. That stunt earlier must have taken more out of him than he let on. Mitarashi stopped and came back down the stairs toward us. He frowned and took a hold of Aoshi. I mean, he just did a life or death uh, rhythm game. Uh, I don't have an uptime command for the end, but... OBS says I've been streaming for 2 hours 41 minutes. Again with the man shit. Princess carry him, yeah. Princess carry him or fireman style it. With a grunt, Mitarashi hauled Miyoshi to his feet and propped him up on his shoulder. I watched him head off up the stairs. I guess Mizurashi's actually a pretty good guy. I thought he was kinda scary at first, but... Whoops, better get moving. I've been so busy thinking I'd fall into the back of the line. Who knows what the next puzzle is going to be. I need to get up these stairs quick. Still, they were a pretty rough climb. When we started, I'd been hopping up them at a good clip, but now it seemed like they went on forever. Really? We, we, we get... We get a CG for him just offering his hand? Uh, okay. <laughs> she's built for speed and rhythm, not strength. Oh, um, yeah. Miyoshi is not going to be punching out a punching machine anytime soon. Are we going to take his hand? Should we take Creepy Fortune Teller's hand? Take his hand, bro, of course. 
<laughs> P comes back to say no. P does not want us to go for the fortune teller. Get him out of here. <laughs> I think you've been overruled though, P. I have two to your one. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. You're right, our character is thirsty. We gotta fix that. After a moment or two of thought, I took Kurabi's hand. I was tired, and I didn't want to get in anyone's way. <laughs> Puck is neutrality, and sorry, Hordian, that phone delay killed it for you. Thanks. Sorry. Yeah. That, that, that might be going a little far. N no need to carry. I, I don't think it'll come to that. I'm fine. Mori says you couldn't know what he was. Jacob was you will not put in this Does he put the crystal ball on top of us if we care? We get carried. Yeah, he has the princess carry us. And then the crystal ball has to be nestled, like, on top of our stomach. Oh, uh, Urabi smiled again and gave us a conspiratorial wink. He's really nice. At long last, we reached the top of the stairs. In front of us stood a set of double doors. Everyone else was already there, taking a moment to catch their breath. Yare, yare. Yoyaka. <sighs> I'm sorry. You performed where? Also nice. You can make Brigadero at home? Well, I, I guess you can. It's just fudge, huh? Hmm. Are you alright, Meoshi? Good. Not all of us can develop abs like we do nothing but train all day. Everyone else is panting and tired, but Mitarashi seemed as energized and relaxed as he had an hour ago. Shido looked like it looked as if he was about to say something, but before he could. <laughs> Hogs tea? Mr. Abdonis wannabe. I should get back into ring fit. I liked I liked Armando best out of, out of the four. <laughs> out of the four uh ring fit devas. Mitsurashi reminds you of yourself when you did martial arts. What a humble brag, Puck. <laughs> Brigadero's not really hard. It's condensed milk, butter, and chocolate powder. I'll take your word for it, Hordian. The thing is, I actually don't usually like sweet stuff. But it is good to know that it's not that hard to make. Right, Armand? <laughs> it's that Major Armstrong feeling that, that makes Armando great. We weren't likely to forget that voice anytime soon. <laughs> His attempt at manipulation was clear. To everyone except Mitarashi, apparently. You missed the stamina. Okay. That, that makes sense. Is it the grad school thing that's keeping you from uh, keeping, <laughs> from maintaining uh, the workout schedule, or or just laziness? Because I know for a fact, I I stopped working out because I got lazy. Oi, I just no chow hats ni noru na. Ai te ni suru dake muda na. Na koto wakatta. You sure about that? He shook Shido off and spat angrily. Yakko-san. Shido 
Shirabe appeared to be thinking the same thing I was. There are probably surveillance cameras all over the place. He shoved another snack into his mouth and started scratching his beard. Okay, so he has been replacing the pocky sticks. You had to retire because of a concussion. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's not a magic pocky stick, unfortunately. At some point, he's probably gonna run out. And with that, he was gone. <laughs> You want to get into weightlifting next? Then you'll probably be closer to Mitarashi. ちっ。狙われなくたって no, it is. You should totally get your panties in a bunch. Right. Pants? It was panties. But if that's your jam, I ain't gonna stop you from eating them. Great hair and endlessly falling for obvious traps. Obviously the guy that you need to be like, Look, look, look. Puck, listen. You see that defined collarbone? You see those pecs peeking out? This guy is sexier than Misu. We agreed to rest a little longer before heading to the last puzzle. Is he really just doing this for entertainment? <laughs> to be fair, that's a really low bar. It is. He's taken the park staff hostage and chosen seven heroes to solve these puzzles. It does feel like a game. Although, a pretty messed up one. But, I feel like there's more to it. After a few minutes, we gathered ourselves and moved to the door, ready to take on the next puzzle. Mitarashi grabbed the door knob and looked, at the, and looked back at the rest of us. We all nodded back. A short rest seemed to have restored some sort of calm. Even Wakasa looked determined. He gonna die. <laughs> He's always the first one to get into things, isn't he? He's totally gonna die at some point. Alright, time to go to work. Beyond the door was a glamorous Japanese style room covered in western ornamentation. The walls were all sliding doors, but a massive chandelier hung from the ceiling. It looked like a house built during the late 1800s or early 1900s. In the center of the room was another strange statue. And just like before, next to it was a device with seven panels. The head is... really big. It's E.T. The head is E.T. Shirabe tapped his forehead and nodded. Aria. What's a Nurarihyon? Nurari Kurari to Tsukami do Koronona Yokai to Kotorashi. Nishtemo Futsuno Yatsu a Skushi. Yeah, Daibu Chimono. Trust Japan to come up with a monster that goes into your house to drink your tea. Hm. Say your Shikino Katuni. Teniwa Kinko. 
ラスボスなんだ。Uh, well, sense, I guess. Uh. Moving carefully and checking everywhere for hidden traps, we slowly approach the statue. <laughs> the worst kind of monster. Keep away from your tea. It is an anime from ages ago, too. Uh, Nurari Hyun no Mago, the grandson of Nurari Hyun. You would share your tea with him, Hordian? You are much nicer than ancient Japan was. Huh? What are you doing? This guy is so beautiful. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. He didn't go so far as to touch it, but I got the impression that if he thought it was safe, he would've. Now she is... kind of funny. I was watching him graze appreciatively at the statue when I heard a familiar voice. Okay, well, we are clearly the priestess here. It was... confusing. No, no it's not. We, we just established clearly that we are the priestess. The lit panel was a picture of a woman. Sadly, he does not say Asabun. Yes? The cop is trusting a high school girl. Me? Why? Is that a euphemism chat? We have good intuition. Hmm. How should we split up this time? Okay, so we can choose to examine examine the statue with um with the cop and the fortune teller. We can examine the floor with Shirabe and Miyoshi. The, uh, the Vash knockoff and um, the ninja. Or we can examine the sliding doors with Mitarashi. The guy, uh, well, I assume Wakasa is also here. The, the pop idol and the host. The guy who wants to beat everything up. Chewing, no, throwing random objects while screaming, yes. You must heard that as examine the slimy doors. Now you have no interest. We don't know. The doors might be slimy. We won't know until we examine them. We can check ET. We can check the floor. Or we could check the door. Fortune teller and cop do not seem to be popular with chat, so we're not checking ET. Uh, let's go with the journalist and the ninja. I decide to investigate the floor with Shirabe and Miyoshi. Why can't ET go home on his own? He has to steal a bike and eat some Skittles first. Uh. We spread out in different directions, scanning the floor. It seemed totally ordinary until I spotted a mark about the size of my fist near a wall. I will touch everything. Keep me out of your museums. I will touch everything. Set off all the fucking alarms. Mona Lisa, touch. Skeleton exhibit, touch. <laughs> yeah, tentacle touch. 
There's something over here. It looks familiar, but I couldn't quite place why. This is a Oh, that, that's the Mito seal. Zokuni you, Aoi no Gomon Tiazda. You may not go to Roja. Ojo chan no you tori. Mito Komon no in lo ni moenga karate iruna. I'll be like a school child during their first museum visit. It is always the first time to the museum for me. Except now, uh, they let me get through without having a guardian. So jokes on them. こいつは双葉葵っていう植物を図案化したものなんだが、通常は葉が2枚で3枚葉のものはごく稀にしか存在しないらしい。メオシスポカ。この大江戸城は元々は江戸を治める王家。あ、主人公が実は徳川の血を
There's no way in hell Shirabe is a priestess. Oh. Yes, I guess that makes sense. Alright, I'll give it a shot. I took a deep breath and pushed a button. Everyone swallowed. Mm -hmm. Nothing's happening. I've been expecting... Well, something. This was odd. Right. I pushed again as hard as I could. <laughs> Insta death. It was Mitsuhide at Honoji Temple with the flaming touch. The death of Nobunaga. The new Pluto game. Um, I don't think it's even moving. I don't think she did the prayer thing. He gestured for me to move aside and pressed down on the seal with his foot. Oh. A pleasant chime sounded, and the priestess panel disappeared to be replaced by the warrior. We were not the priestess. It was him. Pocky man was the priestess. I guess you must be the priestess. Huh? Just a minute. Ore ga Miko? Dochka te iba bushi daro. He looks hurt and a little flustered, but. Maji ka yo. Kono ossan ga Miko. Is everyone just going to take their turn laughing at him? Don't laugh at him! But... It's weird. It is a little strange, but at least it looks like we got it to work. Shido had remained silent until now, but he suddenly spoke up. So mo so mo, Kanojo wa kono nanatsu no kado ni wa fukumare te inai no kamo shirenai na. What? Why? Omae wa kono game ni mizukara rikkou ho shite sanka shita. Iwa ba irregular na sonzai da. Tsumari. お前に割り当てられた武士は当初予定されていた人間の人物像だと考えられるなるほどだとすればなっとくできますねおのエブリティングスファクトアップカズオブアスあいやいや待て待て待てってことは何かどの道俺はミコだったってことかいいさんがパ
三つ葉葵葵の御門だななるほどもしかしたらこれが聖なる印ってやつかそうかもしれないこれは神道村政ゲーム内では唯一ぬらりひょんを切ることができる徳川家の家宝だ Of course we had a freaking Muramasa. The seventh guy is a Tommy. Mitsurashi is either going to die immediately or outlive us all. I mean, the game apparently did not account for us volunteering for this position. So maybe he was supposed to die immediately. Huh? Nanda ka kakui jane ka. But now that we're here, he's going to outlive us all. Mitarashi drew the sword from the scabbard with force and swung it around a few times, grinning and posing. We obtained an item. The voice echoed across the room. I guess we got it right. Ah, Tsugi wa Ayakashi no o uchitaose da. So it's a cantandaza. Mitsurashi swaggered over to the statue and with one dramatic motion shoved the sword through it. Orana, he she got an anani pitari hamarza. But you're not the warrior, my dude. It can't be you. Naruhodo Zono Harakara Senakani Nuketanawa, Nihonto Sashkumutame no Mono da Tanoka. Yeah, it's gonna be poison time. Ayakashi no o uchitaose. Mitarashi gave the sword a final shove and the statue made a small click, followed by an electronic whirring noise. Saw blades of death! What do you think that noise is? We watched it slowly turn to a point at the top of the sword. It's reflecting off the katana and pointing to the door on the right hand wall. Yeah, I gave him a vigorous nod. Yosh, so the Kondo Koso, Omaiga Tobira of Hyakuna. Bushi, eh? Here it goes. Now that the puzzle was solved, all I had to do was open the door and we would be finished with the attraction. I could feel everyone's eyes on me. I grabbed hold of the door and threw it open. On the other side was a wall with the head of a demon mounted on it. What? I stepped forward to get a closer look. A harsh buzzer sounded. What? As he shouted, I heard an arrow fire from the demon. Ah! Suddenly, I was frozen in place by surprise and terror. I squeezed my eyes shut. Something slammed into my body. The arrow, I thought. No. Wait, this is another body. I opened my eyes and looked up. Man's just got stabbed by us. Well, for us, but... Yeah, he's the tank. What? His face was twisted in pain, and took only a moment to see why. The bolt that had been meant for me was buried in his shoulder. It probably is a poison arrow. It looks kind of like he's naked because of the color of his shirt or whatever it is he's wearing. Like I had to double take and compare against his skin, to, to like his his face to make sure. Okay, it, it went through his shirt. He's not just naked under that coat. Need to rush to save him. I realized my mouth was hanging open and quickly shut it. But I felt awful. I have to say something. 
If, if I just jumped out of the way... Are, are you okay? I, I think I'm okay. That's right. So it's a yoga to say. Good night. To any cock, she gets a shinai to. Tie she takes it, Johnny. Oh, saw he see does it. Get cold, she gets it. That's all. Anadolina, Scotchy, Tamuga, Gaman Shroyo. He's covered wars, you know. We watched for a few tense minutes while Shirabe applied some rudimentary first aid. Here, take this. Arigatou. I handed him my handkerchief, which he skillfully tied around Mitsurashi's arm. So, saigo no saigo de kiyo no ita ore no mizu da. Wait, wait, wait. You fucked up, but you sent the girl into the fuck up, man. Shiro grimaces and slams his fist to a nearby wall. There we go. Seigi no mika da kido te kakko tsuke den janai. Bezu ni so iu wake janai ga. Semete yojin shite tobira kara minna o hanashite oku beki datta. Hito mazu kantan na shochi wa shite oita. Na, isoi de kichin to chiryo shita hou ga ii. Well, we're stuck here for like the next six days. He ain't getting any treatment. Mitarashi nodded in thanks. Then we need to get out of here as fast as we can. Yeah, that's the first thing we need to figure out. I tried to fight down the growing feeling of panic and go over what we knew, but I couldn't hold my thoughts together. I was so sure that was the answer. I Shirabe continued to mumble to himself and scratch his beard as the rest of us thought. But, I don't know if I'm going to go to the end. I don't know if I'm going to go to the end. I don't know if I'm going to go to the end. Well, I don't know. I could tell he was trying to lighten the mood, but his words had the opposite effect. The minutes ticked by. Every so often I could see Mitarashi grant her in pain and shift uncomfortably. It must hurt more than he's telling us. We need to do something. Fast. I nodded and started running over what we knew. And starting running over what we knew in my head. Shirada pushed the switch. And then we found the katana with the wild ginger seal on it. That was the line. Take in hand the holy seal and with the prayer of the priestess. Next we stuck the sword in the statue and it made a sort of clicking noise, which was to defeat the Demon King part. Finally, the light moved to the end of the sword and reflected off it to point to this door, which was to let the light of victory will illuminate your path. So, It seems like we did everything we were supposed to, but something still feels wrong. But something feels wrong. I racked my brain for what that might be. When we examined the room, did we miss something important? Bomb time! I think we've got the announcement riddle figured out this time. So let's look at the stuff we found around the room. It turned out that the, Nor that the Nurari Hiron had a diamond-shaped hole that went all the way through the statue, from its stomach to its back. We also realized that the statue and its base were made of different materials. On the floor, we found a mark that looked like a stylized three-leaf wild ginger plant. The mark appeared to be a button, too. When we examined the doors along the walls of the room, it turned out that most of them were fake and just painted on. But not all of them. Some were real. Three, to be exact. So, what are we missing? I mean, out of everything that we've hit, uh, Nurarihon diamond-shaped hole. Like, we definitely dealt with that. 
I don't think we we did anything with the base, so let's go ahead and throw that on there. Three leaf wild ginger plant mark appears to be a button. Will we hit the button? The walls be fake. I don't know if we can do anything with that. Well, we, we gotta pick three, so... Uh, let's say the fake doors. Because we gotta figure out what we're missing. The ginger bark? It was different. Insight incited. I didn't actually realize that last time. We forgot about how the statue and space are each made of different stuff. So couldn't there be something hidden there? I looked up to see six stunned faces staring at me. そいつをすっかり見落としてたぜ。くそ。自分で気づいていながら。そうとなれば、材質の違いが一体何を示すのかを考えてみましょう。We huddled around the statue and began to study it with renewed interest. We have to figure this out quickly. At the corner of my eye, I could see Mitarashi still trying and failing to hide how much his wound hurt. I began to circle around the statue. Hmm, what is this thing made of anyway? Her thinking pose reminds you of Shikamaru from Naruto. It's a very common thinking pose. Without really thinking, I reached out to touch it, only to have my arm suddenly grabbed and pulled away. Whoa! Muyami ni sabarun zanai! My dude. What what does that have to do with anything? You're the person who put me into the danger door. You put me in the fucking danger door, cop. He grabbed me, and now I was getting yelled at? I mean, sure, I probably shouldn't have touched it without warning any everyone, but what does being a woman have to do with that? Sure sounded sexist to me. What is he thinking? This probably isn't the time to start a fight, but he's being an idiot. We can get mad at him. We can get mad at him. We can get mad at him. Are we getting mad at him, chat? Go nuts. We, we're missing the ass. I mean, the, we're missing the mad. We only have the ass. We should get mad. Hey, Dragon. We're gonna rage. We're gonna be righteous, but... What's wrong with you? It went full Ace Attorney! It went full Ace Attorney just now! <laughs> even, the, even the font was the same! Kizuna, nice! <laughs> yeah, it went full on objection! Hold it! Yeah, okay, maybe I didn't really think too hard about whether or not I should touch that thing. But my being woman doesn't have anything to do with it. What the heck were you thinking? I have to say objection in Gollum Boom voice. Give me a moment here. Jack 
Sun! Wow, I backed out from the mic and that is still kind of loud. Sorry, guys. This little girl terrifies Gop. We totally did. Well, I did stick my hand out when I shouldn't have, and I apologize for that, but don't do that again, okay? Wait, wait, wait. He likes us because we fucked... We, we, we got a heart bomb just now. That, that means he likes us. Nice. I should have been more careful, but if I hadn't called Shido out on his malarkey, I would have felt pretty steamed. Shido hung his head and rubbed a hand over his eyes. その本当にすまない。民間人を守るべき刑事という立場でありながら、みんなを危険から守れなかった。そんな自分にイライラしていたのかもしれない。お前に当たるのは筋違いだった。we totally established the pecking order here. It, it's... it's okay, really. He bowed his head. That's not how band-aids work, my dude. Yeah, you don't need to be so hard on yourself. <laughs> defective. He called him defective. Shido pursed his lips. Cave <laughs> You know what, if I if I keep doing these uh visual novel games where I have to read stuff out loud, I should probably be installing some acoustic panels. Is this therapy or a death game? We're dealing with a lot of personal problems here. All of the above. The game sound is loud? Like, I want to make sure that the, uh... That the voices in the game is heard. But also, I I only recently switched my mic on Sunday. So, I, I'm getting used to not having the mic, like, attached to my head at all times. <laughs> Streamer's audible, game is actually audible. Well, gee, thank you, Guinea. That actually helps a lot. <laughs> We nodded and turned back to puzzling over the statue again. He pointed down toward where the statue met the base. Game music sounds a little bit loud for you. Let me turn that down a little bit. Sometimes I talk a little quiet too. So that that might not be the game. That might be me. Carefully, Shido stepped forward and put his hand on the statue. When nothing happened, he slowly started to push. It moved. Not very far, but it had moved. It appeared that the katana could be used as a sort of handle to rotate the statue. Yosh. Are you sure about that, dude? We just had this whole fight. Go slow. We'll get ready to pull out. Alright, got it. I moved the statue slowly, bit by bit. And before long... The head suddenly shot off and flew across the room, slamming into wall and dropping to the floor. The statue is actually missing its head in the game now. 
びびっくりした心臓が止まるかと思ったよ His eyes were so wide I could see the whites and his breathing was fast and shallow カードが緑色に変わってる武士がヌラリヒョンを倒したんですねなるほど手順が間違っていたんじゃなく足りなかったのか You can see the whites and the yolk Shirabe groaned and shook his head つうことは次はこの日本刀の切っ先に反射してる光の刺す方の引き戸を開ければ左側の引き戸を刺しているよし今度は俺が行こう He strode off toward the door and once again and once he'd made sure we were out of the way hold it open That's it 正解 He let out a sigh of relief and I follow suit I never thought I'd be happy to hear that voice, but for once I was. This must be the exit. We began to cheer. At last, we'd finally finished the first day's game. Our faces were drawn and tired, but every one of them was split with a relieved grin. Game. Stage 1 will be clear. しし one of the floorboards in the passageway popped open. Inside was a treasure chest like the one we'd found in the first room. Dora Dora? Nanda Korea? Kami Kiriga, each my putchka? We got a Nanda Korea. He pulled it out and frowned at it. So, Taiyo, the Imiga? Omae san no kegamo kininaru. So it's no imi o shirabel no atomashtana. Toriaz, Oregaz got to go. Right, we need to get you treated. Let's go. I broke into a run and I heard everyone else doing the same behind me. It wasn't easy, but we did it! We beat Samurai Fantasy 7! When we finally got outside, it was 7 p.m. and totally dark. The last room had taken us three hours. I felt a chill go up my spine. If we'd taken just a little longer to finish. <laughs> <laughs> you! I glared at the screen with the pig's ugly face on it. Che. <laughs> Hawksine reminds you of the bear from Dungan Rumpa? I believe he should. I felt everyone tense. We knew exactly what he meant. We had a bunch of close calls already. We've got six more days of this. My chest tightened. We could only go on so long. Sooner or later we would slip up and someone would. I can't let that happen. Hey Pancat, how you doing? Monokuma is better than Hawkstein. Shido's voice broke the silence. Thank 
これがゲームだって言うならクリアしたのに報酬もクリアボーナスもないなんてのはありえない Doing good. That's good to hear. Shiro nodded in agreement. They're right. It's not fair to have to go through all this for nothing. As for my reward, I'm just hoping to save my uncle. Buddha no are near to Parajanega. Shiro's face didn't even twitch. Omae no Moktek, you are Mataku Wakaranaiga. Koredake, a Yaksok Stemoro. Stojitio, Zain Bujini Kai Stemoro. None of us had expected that, least of all Hogstein, who began to shake with rage. <laughs> Jesus, I couldn't even understand that one. Her name is As Asper? If it does, it does. So, this game is、uh, the one where we are Keiji Inafune's niece.、Uh, Keiji Inafune being the producer of multiple Mega Man's Resident Evil and、uh, Mighty Number、no. 9. <laughs> I, I am never going to let go of that. Can the boom be the punt h o g s t e i n into the sun? I don't know if it was just one boon for the entire group or one boon per person. Gentle maiden? What? Cocky? Monkey? Who spends hours on his hair even though he's going bald? <laughs> He really is, Monokuma. Nanda, Orega Hagiru, Bakao Yu, Soreni Korewa Kseketa. There's no way your hair just looks like that. No way. Oh, he went your mama. What the heck is going on here? Where did all these insults come from? I understood that he was angry, but this was going too far. We can get mad at the pig. We can get mad at the pig. What's his deal telling us all off when he's the one who did all this to us in the first place? We can get mad at the pig! Mad is canon. You think this time calm is more reasonable, Hordian? <laughs> Be a mad ass, says Koyos. I mean, his rules were we can't hurt him, but we can yell at him. Right? Rage time, rage time. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't be the first time we were mad ass. It'll probably be insta death, but rage time. Fuck, I can't say, can I? I can say! Alright, we saved. No, I don't want to put the name now. I, I want to rage. We don't like this pig to like us.
<laughs> he has cracks in the little mask down there. An apology is not gonna cut it. Then, um, why'd you get so mad? Excuse me? Our hotel will arrive. This is an amusement park, so abuse yourselves. <laughs> High school girl terrifies pig costume kidnapper. We are making the real news here. Wait, 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 what, what the hell? He tells us to amuse ourselves and then tells us we can't amuse ourselves with anything because nothing fucking works. Well then. Ah. The screen blinked out. Hotel ga dochakuする? Yeah, the hotel will arrive. What, what does that mean? Te itte ta na. Douyou koto da? You will keep making him as I keep terrifying him. We're gonna keep terrifying him for sure. Ma, nan demo iize. Toni kaku yoyaku no jiu jigan da. Tanoshimou ze. Without waiting for a response, he took off toward one of the park di directories. He's a man after my own heart. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. That was probably why he knew so much about this one. True. If that was the case, though, he wasn't hiding it very well. Still, no harm in leaving it unsaid. When we caught up to Mitarashi, he seemed shocked when I reminded him that none of the attractions were working. Seriously, dude, that was like something that the pig expressly said. Apparently, he hadn't been listening closely to Hogs. He hadn't been listening to Hogsine that closely. In fairness, no one really wants to listen to that pig that closely. <sighs> You vote for us to make barbecue after all this shit. Pork ribs with orange sauce. That does sound delicious right about now. I hadn't realized until he said it, but I was hungry too. Starving, in fact. いいですね。私もいささかお腹が減ってまいりました。腹が減ってはいくさはできないという。俺も同行させてもらうとしよう。ま、確かにそうだな。どう。俺はひとまず事務所に向かうわ。その後で合流させてもらうぜ。He didn't seem to want to say it. But I had a feeling Mitsurashi wanted to try and find something to treat his wound with. Yeah, going to a first aid kit would be would be really important for this dude. Of course, of course the rhythm gamer is going to the arcade. But 
if the attractions aren't working, wouldn't that mean all the games are offline too? Alright, I'll go with Mitarashi to the office then. He gotten hurt because of me. It felt wrong to just leave him. Huh? It didn't sound like he was very fond of the idea. Um I Oreni Kyotskotendara Mushiro Hitorini Stegura. Oops. The brush off didn't get much clearer than that. Hmm, what should I do? If I try and convince him to let me come, that'll be awkward. Who do I want to go with? It might be my voice making you sleepy. <laughs> I I get that a lot. <laughs> I was talking with um, someone else earlier today, and they were like, Yeah, I was watching your stream. And then I ended up taking a nap for three hours. And so I ended up staying up late. And now I'm really tired. And it's all your fault. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we can go with, uh, with the idol, the cop, and the fortune teller to have a bite. We can go with Monk Man to, to the office. We can go to the game center. We can go to the fucking arcade. Or we can go with uh, Shirabe. We can go with the journalists and explore the park. Kizuna really wants us to go to the arcade. <laughs> Kini also wants us to go to the arcade. Toasted Buck just wants us to be angry. It's midnight in Brazil. Yeah, it's like 11 p.m. where I am. So, like, I I'm not that far off from where you are, Hordian. If you need to go sleep, you should go sleep now. We're trapped and we still get to eat. We're trapped in an amusement park, Robbie. So the attractions are offline and the attractions that are working are all life or death situations. But we can still kind of go uh, eat and stuff. It's barely evening in New York. Koyos! Please! Koyos! You can't just talk about New York and not send me some pizza. Can Mitarashi dress his wound himself? He wanted to go on his own. He got angry at us when we were like, we'll, we'll come help. It is pretty much Disneyland. You had pizza. I don't like Koyos anymore, guys. He had pizza for lunch. Man talks about pizza in my chat. Doesn't send me pizza. There's a rage function in this game, so you just want to rage at everything, fuck. Rage at cop, rage at pig, rage at the air itself. Uh, rage is not an option this time, I'm sorry. Go help Mitarashi, he's being sundere. Um, I mean, I've got two games in chat. Uh, one, two games. One, uh, help, help the injured guy. A uh, reminder that this is essentially a dating sim, so we want to raise a. F we can't unfortunately time everyone. Like, what is this? There are seven people. We can't six time everyone, unfortunately. Because if we don't get a certain amount of affection points, we do not get their ending. We get the normal slash bad ending, whatever that means. So our options uh, are. Food, nurse's office, well, just the main office in general that presumably has a first aid kit. Arcade and amusement park. We've got two for office and two for arcade. I guess I should put it this way. Do we like the guy who... Okay, Rob Robbie goes for office. I was gonna say, do, do we like the guy who wants to beat shit up, or, or do we want the rhythm game ninja? But we're gonna be nice. I thought about it for a moment and decided I should go with Mitarashi after all. Games or cop? No, this is not the cop. Cop went. Cop decided to go eat dinner. We we did not decide to eat dinner. What a 
it's just movement. Bet you cop eats pizza. So, I know that my only webcam is this, Poyos. But you'll have to imagine that those little dots above Dittosaur's eyes are angry eyebrows right now. <laughs> Was he moonwalking on the map? He was basically moonwalking on the map. I know, but I feel responsible for what happened. Please, just let me come with you. I knew he wanted to be alone, but running off just felt wrong to me. I needed to take responsibility for his injury. Mitsurashi sighed. I'm not a kid, but... That's right. You're still a kid yet. You're still a kid. I rage at Koyos, it's not very effective. It's because I don't have enough HP. I did not eat pizza. <laughs> Ow! I felt something thwack me on the forehead, and it was a moment before I realized that Mitsurashi had flicked me. He'd moved so fast I hadn't even seen it. <laughs> While I was still rubbing the red welt on my head, Mitsurashi jogged off toward the office. Uh, I'm not a kid. Well, I mean, I guess technically I am in school, but still. I frowned and ran off after him. Mitarashi grumbled as he wiggled several light switches to no effect. Probably. I bet we can still find a first aid kit in here, though. Fortunately, there was a sliver of moonlight shining through the window, which gave us at least a little illumination. I started to root through for some drawers that looked like they might have what we were looking for. It was so dark that I couldn't really see him. But his voice made him sound much closer than I thought he was. Ah! Huh? Startled, I flailed around a bit until my hand brushed up against his. What No! Nothing! I doubt he thought anything of it. Prompt someone of his profession probably touched lots of hands. I'm still just a high school girl, though. Touching some guy's hand is kind of a big deal. I was suddenly very aware of the fact that we were both in a dark, cramped room. Very, very close to one another. Oh, here it is. The, the first aid kit, I mean. As I'd stumbled back from my close encounter, my other hand had brushed up against a box. The first aid kit he'd been looking for. Is it a big deal? I mean, it depends on the girl. But, uh... Yeah. Like the pure heart kind of thing. No, I mean... You can't really do it yourself, can you? Huh? Why do you think I came? I forced him to sit down on a nearby bench and set to work. Stop saying everything's a pain. You're gonna be in real pain if we don't get this wound cleaned up. After this, he's going to give us a business card to his establishment and will still charge us for service. Ah, yes. He bared a shoulder for us. We totally owe his business money now. He's actually naked this time, chat. He pulled off his jacket with an exasperated sigh, exposing the area where the arrow had struck him as well as several other areas. Several 
other areas. What I wouldn't give for a working light right now. I pulled my focus back to the first aid kit and quickly soaked one of the cotton balls in antiseptic. This is going to hurt a bit. Is it a big deal to touch a guy's hand? Um, honestly, it really does depend on the person, Hordian. For some people, it is a big deal. And for other people, it's not. Like in Japan, they do not show a lot of uh, public displays of affection. So, like, holding someone's hand is, is pretty serious in public. Apparently, he was telling the truth. Even after I doused the wound in anti <laughs> an antiseptic, all he did was grimace slightly. Girl, y you weren't supposed to, like, hit it with, like, a cotton ball. You were supposed to upend the entire bottle and drown his shoulder in alcohol. Wow, I had a cut treated like this once and it hurt like heck. He must be tough. Um, thank you. A lot. For what you did back there. In this day and age, hand-holding is dangerous. Robbie speaks truth. Hand-holding is not allowed in the age of COVID-19. これだから楽器は嫌だぜ。いいが。何度も何度も礼を言うってのは。いい女はしないもんだ。礼は一度だけ。心を尽くして言うもんだ。I see. Business card incoming. まあ、もっとも未成年相手に仕事も苦もねえけど、もっと治療完了か。ありがとう。He <laughs> gave me a smirk and panted and patted me on the head. 将来の夢は看護師さんか? seems scary sometimes, but then other times he seems pretty nice. That doesn't give him an excuse to keep calling me a kid, though. Huh? He paused as he, as he put his coat back on to look at me. One eyebrow cocked. What should I say? Do we want him to not treat us like a kid? Is our dream to become a wife? Oh god, that is so fucking Japanese. Say thank you however you want. It only matters if you're saying sorry over and over again. Uh, say thank you however much you want. I mean, it is very much a habit of mine to, to say thank you for everything. So I, I do agree with that, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Puck wants to rage! Actually, Puck... Can I ask... Do you watch Critical Role? Kizuna says neither. There's only one good answer here anyway. Be a woman with attitude. Show our independence. I mean, we've been raging, so... We, we, we're definitely an independent woman, right? The, don't treat me like a little kid. Independent wife with attitude, yes. Huh? Puck does watch Critical Role. Okay. Ass would like to rage. No, that's 
not really what I meant. I blinked and suddenly his face was right next to mine. Dude, 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 we're in high school, we're in high school! We're underage! We're underage! I shoved him back, surprised. He'd been so close, our lips had almost touched. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't make fun of me like that. This is hopeless. There's no point to arguing with him. You'd say what of 18 or 19 in college, but it's what, not really? Uh, Japan's uh, official age uh, of adulthood is 20, yes. Um, all that bullshit about the age of consent in Japan being 14 and under, or like 16, 14, whatever, uh, that's, that's not actually a thing. Like yes, different prefectures have different ages, but overall, like in in the, like that really counts as far as like oh hey, um, like this is what it used to be. But generally, if you're under twenty, uh, you're gonna be a potential victim of statutory rape if you do that. Oh, okay, I might have mixed it up. It might have been like the prefecture said no, and overall Japan was like, it's legal. Either way, like the point is, no, that's not really a thing in Japan. So, uh, dude, back the fuck off. This is the first sensible thing he said all day. Yeah! We ran back to the restaurant to find everyone else already there, and proceeded to enjoy a delicious dinner. And it better not have been pizza. Sirens in the background. Sate, shokuji mo sunda shi. Oren ga shirabete kita koto o kantan ni hokok shiyo. You don't just ask someone out after trying to kiss and fail. He got the order wrong. It's it's cause he's a host. He fucks it up. People ask him out. Everyone looked up from their mostly empty plates. Landonos Hotoniwa Daremo Inai. Osurak Korewa Shitojichio Tateni Kesatsia Maskomio Fukumu Bungai Shanga Shatto out of Sarete Ilse Daro. So Shite Nujo Gate to a Tokuni Fusa Saretewa Inai. Deo to Mueba Deraderunga Tadashi Luruga Aruno de Shitojichinga Koro Sareteshima. Oh, so we could technically escape. All the food we're eating was cooked by the piglets. Surprise, it was pizza. <laughs> Actually, it does look a lot like a food court in the background. Like, um, you've got the Japanese food on the left side of his head and the Chinese food on the right side of his head. The art style is a little different right now, actually. Everyone sighed. We've known things were bad, but to hear it all laid out like that. Like, I don't know if it's like the outline seemed thicker to me. But it looks different to me. You got the Japan badge on your Fitbit while watching this stream. That's very appropriate for this stream, Ravi. Congratulations on, on the badge. We don't even know what he really wants. This has to be a huge amount of work. Is he just doing it for fun? It looks like a bad GBA game. Fun fact, Ace Attorney was originally a Game Boy Advance game. Kaimok Kentonga Tskanaina. 
Like seriously, look look at look at these outlines on uh on the journalist. めちゃくちゃ悪趣味だよね。全くもってどうしてこんなことをさすがにゲームとはいえ命がかかってるのはね。ただの暇な野郎だ。やっぱ絶対あいつブチの娘。Well, we've still got a long way to go, so we're all gonna need to work together. Everybody nodded. Queen Serenade. After dinner, we headed toward Adventure Village. Shirabe seemed to know the way, so he was leading us. What? What is that? Ah! At the far end of Adventure Village, a gorgeous cruise liner had been anchored near the riverside dock. なるほど。あれがやつの言っていた到着するの意味か。なんだかキラキラしていますね。We all stared at the ship for a minute or two, amazed by its size and grandeur. この船も何かのゲームに関係あるのかな。ひとまず乗り込んでみるか。Keeping a close eye on his surroundings, Shido headed for the ship. The rest of us followed. As it turned out, it was just as spectacular on the inside as it was on the outside. The decor wouldn't have been out of place at a five-star hotel. I've never been on a cruise. If cruise ships are like this, I would kind of like to try to go on one. Uh. So long as it's not the Titanic. <laughs> Establishing the pecking order. They both gazed around the lobby and sighed. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It had begun to move as soon as all of us were aboard. Shirabe frowned as several piglets appeared. <laughs> They're totally silent. But the dot 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 exclamation mark dot 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 exclamation mark. It's just it's just funny to me. Nope, they can't. They began to wave their arms and bodies around wildly, desperately trying to communicate something with that words. Hey, Kondaria! How you doing? How was your stream? Did you get those nice PBs and little nightmares? Uh, are they saying they'll show us to our rooms? Huh? Well, well, I'm not sure. Just kind of instinct, I guess? We followed the piglets to the rooms we'd been assigned. Gosh, I sure am tired. As soon as the piglet shut the door and left, I collapsed onto my bed. That is a very fancy, uh, sweet room. <laughs> you did not, so you'll do it on Sunday. I'm sorry to hear that, but you're gonna get it on Sunday, Kondaria. After a whole day running around, lying down felt so, so good. Mm. No, I'm gonna fall asleep if I stay here. I had to clean up. With a mighty effort, I hauled myself out of bed and toward the bathroom. A shower was my first priority, and after I dried and dressed, I began to really examine the room. 
It was about the size of a spacious single in a hotel, but it was neat and pretty. It was also well stocked with just about everything I could need. I hadn't brought anything with me, obviously, but it looked like whoever had prepared the room had anticipated that. Do we have a change of clothes? Because you know what we really need? A change of clothes. At last. Feeling refreshed, I finally let myself fall to bed. But... So much has happened today. I'm tired, but... I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep. As soon as I lay down, my head was flooded with thoughts of my uncle, the game we'd just played, and whatever game we'd be playing tomorrow. Just worrying about all of this isn't going to get me anywhere. The exhaustion from before was gone, replaced with restless energy. Single, that's a double-sized bed? Yeah, it looks like it's definitely at least a queen-sized bed. Most, most hotel rooms have a uh, full at, as like the minimum, but if you see only a single bed in the room, which I think is what they mean, um, it's, it's probably a king. Then again, this is a cruise ship, so it has less room. And now we have break time! Break time, which means we can pick someone to hang out with. We can pick the cop. We can pick the idol. We can pick the rhythm game ninja. We can pick... Big ol' <laughs> big ol' fighter dude. We can pick the fortune teller. Or we can pick the journalist. Quote, hang out with. Robbie says the fortune teller. Anything else in chat? Cop, journal, or gamer? What is my choice? I don't really have a preference. This is our first playthrough of the game. So, if... I just want to see where chat takes us. If we go, um... The game wants you to play multiple times, get everyone's ending, so uh, you see all... Uh, so you can get the seventh route and the full ending. This is the journalist, right away. This is the cop, the idol, the fortune teller, the host, and the gamer. Gamer does seem very popular in chat. <laughs> psychic man can do what only psychic man can. I see... I, if I count Robbie as psychic man, that's two psychic man. Uh, two potential for journalist. One for cop, and like three for gamer. Let's not leave the worst characters for last is what I'm saying. The thing is, you guys don't necessarily know which ones are the worst. We just don't like cops so far, honestly. You're surprised you're not going for a judo like that? You mean this one? But I mean like, we have gamer, so most people like want gamer. Go for fake news, says Haloyo. Oh shit. He suddenly shot up three. We have... Three for, for gamer, three for cop. P says gamer. Pop idol is closest to our age. P says gamer. G P makes it four for gamer. So we're going for gamer. <laughs> P does not want to be the deciding vote. Bordian has switched to gamer too. The gamer is the DDR player, P. You're on the right track there. <laughs> what is that music? Wow. Ninja neckbeard. Miyoshi? <laughs> he jumped when I called out, and he looked startled when I turned around. <laughs> Get to sleep. What about you? He's going to run away. 
You didn't switch Horden. No, no, no. Uh, you said the cop looks cute too, but go gamer. That that's what I was referring to. That was when I noticed he was hiding a can from a vending machine. Oh, they've got a vending machine here? Awesome! Maybe I'll go get something. Um, He's going to give us his vending machine can. This is true love, chat. He gave us a vending machine can. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate pants. He held out a can. Oh no, you bought that one. I can go get my own. Yeah. He bought two. <laughs> Pancan and Hordian with the, with the hydrate chain. You bought two? Huh? No, no, no. Wait, I mean, we both got two and we both can't sleep, so why don't we drink them together? Uh, He's totally frozen up. Does he just really not want to drink with me? I was starting to wonder how long he'd stay like that when he finally spoke. <laughs> Another hydrate from Kizuna. So that is. That's it. He has never experienced a date, chat. We're giving him his first date and it's drinking from... <laughs> drinking stuff from vending machines. In a cruise ship in the middle of a death game. Another hydrate from Guinea. <laughs> exactly! The question is what drink is it? Uh, just by looking at the cans... That, that looks like royal, which is probably royal milk tea. And this is a character for juice and powder. Um, on his can, juice and powder. So... <laughs> bring him home. There are in fact bean, uh, red bean soup um, cans in vending machines in Japan. I actually have a can of uh, corn soup sitting in my fridge right now. Like, not like a can that you can, like, heat and pop open and drink. Which is really fucking weird. Um, like, in Japan, you can get the cans already heated. If I were to drink that can of corn soup, I'd have to pour it out into a, a pot and heat it up. You would like to try some? It sounds awesome. It's... It's... Interesting. <laughs> I'm not a fan of drinking soup from cans. <laughs> Kizuno wants to bring him home because she likes canned milk tea. <laughs> okay, I plopped down onto the sofa in the lobby. After a second of hesitation, Miyoshi sat down too and awkwardly pried open his can. He just called it juice. But we... We called it milk tea. <laughs> yeah, I love milk tea. So, what about you? Wait, is that red bean soup? Yes, okay. When you think about the canned bean soup, you think about Feyoara. Yeah, it's not savory. Uh, it's usually like what he's drinking right now. Uh, it's uh, Red bean soup tends to be sweet. So it's definitely not the same Hordian. The soup I was talking about, the one I have in my fridge, that is definitely savory. So it's probably a little closer to Feyoara. <laughs> but this is a sweet kind of soup. It's a dessert soup. When you're in Japan, you're always in the izakayas for meat and beer. Yes! Like, I'll, I'll go to actual restaurants too when I'm in Japan. But honestly, you get good food in izakaya. They're usually cheaper. Just, just eat, eat at izakayas. You don't even need to drink, though you can if you want to. <laughs> Sweet soup, what madness is this? 
It's a very common thing for Asian countries, actually. I think, um... I think Korea has it. I know China and uh, Japan definitely have it. All you can eat and drink. No me tabe hoda. Yeah. The one in town is the most expensive place in town. Though you think it's just more trendy restaurant in the style. It's not an izakaya then, giddy. 23 bucks for sea urchin when you have an infestation. Yeah, that's a ripoff. That is a ripoff. Like, is it like just a couple of tongues of sea urchin? Is it like a whole platter of sea urchin? Like, that's the important question that, that you need to ask here, Guinea. Brazilian food is the best. I actually have not eaten much Brazilian food. I... My, my experience with Brazilian food is uh, primarily Padequejo and uh, Churrascarias. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ASCII Brazilian flag shows up as asterisk on the on-screen chat. <laughs> Well, no, I guess it's not weird. It kind of fits you, actually. Our conversation didn't seem to be going anywhere, so we just drank in silence. Yeah, you're right. What is it? His face is so great. He's losing his spaghetti. He's about to tea kettle. <laughs> you should go back to Japan next year. You wonder if the locals will still go, Damn, that huge gaijin! And you get your own bubble. Uh, pants. Next year is when they're moving the Olympics to. I don't know if there's going to be enough room for you to get a bubble. Huh? He likes us! With that, he turned and left, and I stood there dumbfounded, trying to understand what had just happened. Um... What was that? After a few moments, I shrugged and headed back to my room. You were planning to go next year with friends and do some gigs? I... I mean... Yeah, it might be okay after the Olympics are over, P. But definitely, like, during the time of the Olympics, and just in general, fall is one of the best times to go to Japan as far as temperature climbs go. In summer, it's ridiculously humid. Uh, winter, it can get really cold. The first time I went to Japan, it was snowing, uh, like, nonstop. I, I, I almost got frostbite um, when I got lost in Harajuku. Um, and then the second year I went to Japan, like, it was fine the first couple of days I was there. Then my friend came and brought a humongous fucking snowstorm with her. And... Like, after, after she arrived, like, we spent about two weeks sort of bouncing around the country. Then we came back to Tokyo and there was still a shit ton of snow all over the place. <laughs> Comic at 100. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I can see uh, why you'd want to hit that. It's not that cold in winter. It depends on where you're from, Pants. Like, I would presume for P, it's not that cold in winter because of where P it lives. Uh, and also because P does not intend on going to Hokkaido, where it really is that fucking cold in winter. <laughs> if I want to try making some Brazilian food at home, I should try making escond escondidinho? I, I assume I pronounced that right. Uh, obviously, I do not speak Portuguese, sorry. Oh yeah, we've talked about this. That's right, P. You do want to go to Hokkaido. Definitely go to Hokkaido. That's right, because Hokkaido's got the good shit for food. 
Escondidinho is the correct way to pronounce it. Good to hear. Anyway, let's finish out this game. Uh, well, not, we're not finishing the game. Let's finish out this stage. Oof. Well, I'm definitely sleepy now. Just look at the time. I flopped into the bed and was asleep before my head hit the pillow. It was supposed to be a peaceful day. Can I teach you? <laughs> Can I teach you to be fluent in Japanese in like two weeks? Uh, I wish I could. I have been studying on and off for nineteen years, and I I would still only call myself conversational. Only 19 years, right? I know. <laughs> Fist bump, Kizuna. <laughs> As in, I have two weeks to teach you. Like, I'll help you with, like, if you've got any questions, but I, I definitely don't think I can teach you to be fluent. What, what are you challenging that, <laughs> that you need to be fluent in Japanese in two weeks, Clint? Is that awake yet? Should I go wake him up? <laughs> you were 11, 19 years ago, Pants? That's some bad time management? It, it's on and off. Uh, some of it was in classes with actual teachers. Uh, some of it was self-study. Uh, some of it was I worked in a fucking Japanese restaurant for five and a half years. <laughs> Com compressing 19 years in two weeks. Okay, yeah, that is bad time management. <laughs> but yeah, Clint, you know how to hit me up. Uh, if you got any questions, I'll try and help however I can. Oh, do what if what runs away? おばかさんね。遊園地はどこへも行きはしない。あなたを待っててくれるわ。それじゃあ、もう少しだけパパを寝かせてあげましょうね。パパが起きたらお弁当を持ってみんなで遊園地に行きましょう。No one told this kid that the amusement park is closed due to hostage situation. And we have finished stage one. Yeah, good timing, right? Yeah, this is normally when it, well, I would end stream. So I am going to save here. So thank you for sitting through stage one of Sweet Fuse with me, guys. I'm gonna press start before it goes to the attract video, actually. We're gonna continue this tomorrow with stage two. Because we have, we have so much to unlock. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, I guess, these, I guess some of these are endings as well, cause shit, that's a lot of them, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna continue this uh, tomorrow, and probably this will be our Monday to Thursday streams um, game now. Hopefully, each stage is only <laughs> about four hours, and we're gonna at least get one ending. We'll see what that ending is, and depending on how how it does, maybe we'll continue and try to get more endings. But for now, guys, have a good night. I want to see if maybe I can send you guys over to someone. We got a couple of appropriate things going on somewhere around Twitch.
Let's see. All right, you know what? We got some people doing uh, Ace Attorney. So in the interest of proper objections, I'm going to send you over to Fluffy Butt Gaming. <laughs> oh, okay. Puck has decided to use points on Ecdysis. All right. Puck, you get, you get Ek. So we're going to head over to Ecdysis then, who is, um, what is Ek playing today? Shit. Clock Tower 3. Oh, okay, we're still going the anime route. <laughs> In the meanwhile, guys, have a good night. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. If I don't, no big. Make sure you don't get kidnapped by, uh, any cigar-smoking pigs.